we. I think we're not on yet. The stream is beginning, starting. Live. We are live. We are live doing a stream of a bug's life. I can't believe it. It's a bug's life. A booger's life. <laughs> now, before we do any intros, we're not doing any intros yet because we will do an intro when we when we can uh, get more than one person watching. All right, that that's that's important. Right now, all right. we're stuck. Stuck at zero. You should people. have. You should do like a music intro for like, like the first five minutes or something or ten minutes. Yes, yeah, people like join in or something. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What could I choose? I think that's what most streamers do. They they have like uh, they put up like a bit of a, a sort of a banner with like all their sort of social media information and everything, and then they play like this yeah, intro yeah, yeah. Um, song right. at, as people. All right. Uh, let's we'll play some. Uh, this isn't music per se, but it's, uh, it's, it's some audio Rap. that you might find interesting. Uh, yeah. I don't call that chip music. Uh, rap will play some trap. All right, here we go. Will the suspect we'll please trap. take the stand? Okay. Mr. Goofy, is it? <laughs> Mr. Goofy, you are here today being charged with mass homicide. <laughs> and your lawyer is here, present, am I what? correct? Yes, I'm his lawyer. Oh, Rose listen, Bird, listen to the feet. It's a bit of delay, but... oh, no. Now, from what I see oh, I here, there is strong evidence the, uh, supporting yeah. the mass shooting. <laughs> it looks like here you were caught in broad daylight on CCTV <laughs> holding an AR-7. <laughs> so you're admitting that the man in this footage is you, correct? <laughs> yeah. So you do admit that this very same footage right here from the very oh, same page. CCTV of you <coughs> massacring a public elementary school <laughs> is you as well? <laughs> is that training. a yes? I you're on the train. Can I get a yes, Mr. Goofy? I object. My client has done nothing no, wrong. Nothing. He killed 27 children and crippled five. Like, it's clinically I'll insane, training, you're crazy. <laughs> Mr. Goofy, this is not a laughing. All right, guys, it's all good. Sorry, I'll, 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 we'll, we'll get to the. We'll get to the. What did you now. do? I was playing some uh, Filthy Frank at uh, Goofy's Trial. It's one of my favorite videos of his. It's it's. Basically... Oh, it is actually to do with Goofy. Right? Yeah, it was actually Goofy. It's uh, Goofy basically oh, uh, admitting like to hell. killing 27 people. Um, and, and it's like Filthy Frank just doing an impression of Goofy. Like, <laughs> it's... <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. It's like, uh, what's... <laughs> it's like, what's his name? Um, Jeffrey Dahmer, but like in a Goofy voice. Like, bring him to the woods. Yeah, yeah. Cut him up. <laughs> Uh, lick yeah. their flesh. Yeah. Cut open their skin. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Murder. Lexi. <laughs> I'll do it again. Okay. Anyway, so we've got 25 people here now. So let, let's 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 calm the fuck down. And before we begin, I'm gonna That's shout out loud. everyone who has joined from the beginning. So we've got Mr. Mose. We've got Pop Man Brad. Death Rider guy back again. Emperor X. Andrew Smith. Sophie Claire. Flame of Udin, 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 the Crash King, Shots. Oh, Shots, good to see you for the first time here. Uh, actually, got a few first timers, and we got some right. some classics, well, got some classics back, and we're ready to go. Let's let's get started. Oh, and we got Caleb again, my boy Caleb, another ad lady in. Your boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> my boyfriend. My boyfriend Caleb. Um, this and he says this is Inspiral Crash. I know, right? I know. I can't believe I'm I'm playing something else. Where, Wait, um, what? We're here to do Bugs Life, so we're going to do the intro now. So this is what you're going to. If you're watching this on VOD, you're about to get some. Uh, you're about to get some Christopher G intro goodness. All right, here we go. Oh, and Avril He's Prime as well. He's about to drop an intro bomb. Avril Prime <laughs> tried to tried to get make the other one, but didn't make it. So it's always good to. You know, this is what happens when you do it in an accessible time for Australians. You know, you, you get uh, you get the Australians. You get this. <laughs> you don't say. All right. That's thanks, Captain Obvious. But anyway, here we go. Hello, everyone. Christopher Vigi here. Welcome to a stream play of Life A Bug's Life. Life. Joining me today is my pal, my friend, not my enemy, Johnny Nature. Flick. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's he's my friend. I mean, I I talk to Flick sometimes, every now and then. Well, he sure as hell talks back. Yeah, he, he does. You know, I like I like the part where he told me that he was picking up grain here. Like, I mean, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know then, where he was picking it up. I knew yeah. I knew he was picking up grain, but not that it was here. Exactly. He had to, he had to, exactly. He had to specify. He had to specify. It's like he's not picking up grain there. He's picking it up here. Now, 
Bugs Life. I mean, what is there to say about Bugs Life? We, I mean, the reason why we Nothing. picked That's we it. picked Bugs Life is because yeah. just because of the fact that, well, at least to us, maybe not to some of you guys. You may be thinking like Bugs Life, what a random PS One platformer, you know, like Disney platformer. And look, I mean, if you were to say that in the modern day, fucking right, blast for me. Yeah, exactly. Like if you were to play like a game like freaking what's that piece of shit called? Um, uh, you know, like like the Harry, the modern Harry Potter games, or like you know some of the modern Disney games. They're just they're garbage. They're not even. Like, just say Harry Potter. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, just Harry Potter. I mean, anything anything after Harry Potter three is basically just complete bullshit. It's just like a terrible. Was there one of that on uh, consoles? There must have been. I play. I I own Prisoner of Azkaban uh, on the. Um, on the PS2, yeah, serious it's, it's okay. Like it's not too bad. I think it's done by Eurocom. Um, like it's, yeah, it's, I thought. Yeah, I don't know. It's not the the same, PC though. version was done, I think, by the same people as the first two, but right. um, it's not. Uh, it's it's not nearly as good as the first two, though. That's why I didn't sort of move on to that one. It's like a shit ton easier, and you know how easy the first two ones were, anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, we've got some people streaming in the chat saying how awesome the game is. Damn right it is. Damn streaming right. in the chat. Stream. Yeah, they're, they're live streaming too. It's just a big stream. <laughs> yeah, they're stream com session. competing with you now. Yeah. Um, now, I mean, look, most of you already know how Bugs Life works, but I think, you know, you know, in, in, in being uh, inclusive to new fans and, and, uh, and old ones as well, people that just like to hear me and Johnny talk, what I think makes Bugs Life so cool is basically the because we're skipping the tutorial. We're not doing the tutorial. Is the whole uh, oh, I seed thought, system. I was just going to say that's the bit that makes this game so cool. Oh, what with the old guy talking? Yeah, no, I'm not being serious. That reminds me of my younger <laughs> brother. You know, like he, he like he talks so whis whimsically or something. I don't know what the, what the right word is. <laughs> Whim. He just he has no, not whimsically. That's more like some dude. Um, more Reminds like me of my younger brother. Yeah, yes, that's that's it. That's it. Yeah. What? Really? That, I don't know. I actually it's like... only remember the Dutch uh, voice. Was he sound like in Dutch? <laughs> Put you on the spot, but. Uh, flick. Uh, om een zaadje te planten, pak hem op en spring erop, etc. That's a, that's yeah. pretty much what he sounds like in English. So that's kind of that's pretty he's, faithful he's, actually. He's, day, he's just telling Flick how to handle his seed. <laughs> It's important. It's very important. Speaking of oh, seeds, G4 made it, yeah. G4. G yes! Oh, he gets it live. How lucky how arrogant of us. Like he gets to experience us. How lucky. But we all we all know that, that G4 loves a bit of a good uh, Johnny Fidge set. Well what he loves even more is uh is Angus X Fisher uh, slash fiction. I too read that uh, Discord chat. I too well, read it recently, actually. <laughs> Good times. We've got a little Discord for our, um, uh, what's it, like a, a speedrunning tournament, which was a colossal failure in my eyes. Um, uh, I know that well, sounds a bit arrogant. But by like, your hands, maybe. Yeah, I was going to well, no, Al didn't fucking send me the footage. Yeah, well, Al. And, yeah. I blame Al. It's all Al's fault. Oh, this was, yeah. This, I mean, it, it was kind of... Com but the thing is, it was finished in, in fairly good time, wasn't it? Uh, the the speedruns themselves. I think, I think the tournament was. Yeah, I think I think it was like done pretty quickly. I think they spent ran the tournament itself. Yeah, no, the, the speed the tournament went all right. It was, it was actually just held up waiting for... Because they were like waiting for me and Johnny. Um, they're like waiting... Me and John? Yeah, no, sorry. They're waiting for me and Al's race. Oh, like, you Al picked up a blue berry. What was that? picked up the blueberry yeah geez it is actually... when you had a purple one yeah that's right disgraceful yeah. there is a there is a bit of a delay in in my gameplay and like johnny talking but we should i might if there's some way to possibly figure it out like to display him a stream oh like... just ignore the game then <laughs> never, <laughs> never now never analyze anything just we'll just we'll leave it at that i mean then again we can both analyze this game with like our eyes closed so we don't even need to be like looking at it so yeah. Oh, I can't hear it either, so... Hmm. Oh, yeah, no Otherwise, shit. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's get this motherfucker over Actually, here. let me just listen to myself. It's like, you know, I've got a delay machine on. Okay. So, um... 
I was gonna say, let's have a look at what people are having to say here. Now, Death Rider guy says that he never saw this game until my first stream. And that, that kind of amazed, I mean, I guess it doesn't amaze me, really. Um, it's like, that's not impressive. But no, I mean, I guess I guess it just shows, you know, like, yeah, there's, there's so many vastly different ways to view the 90s, like, as a gamer. You know, like, like it, and it really just depends on the consoles that you own. Even even if this was on the N64 and PC as well. Um, and even though this game, were, this movie was a culturally relevant uh, success. Now it sounds like I'm actually insulting you for not knowing what it was, but, um... I, I wasn't, but it, yeah, I, I guess it is kind of surprising that, that you haven't heard of this game in, in some ways. Um, yeah, the only uh, consoles I I used in the 90s was uh, the Revo Cave 101, you know. The, the what? <laughs> it's just some Game Boy clone. Really? It's no, a Game Boy clone? No. I literally just I tried to what's the what's the what was the fucking poor boys version of the Game Boy again? Um, I feel like it was caught oh. like Wasn't there like no the games for that's from Drake and Josh. Um, like game gamer child or something. Yeah, yeah, like there, that. there used to be like I remember uh in this wasn't I don't think this was actually exp I don't think this was actually cheap. I think this was actually expensive, but there used to be a console uh, like a, a a thing in the early mid 2000s called the N gauge. It was like a Nokia N gauge. And it was like a, um, it was like a console, um, ish, console ish, no, like the handheld ish thing that kind of was like in between GBA and cell DS phone. graphics. Yeah, it was like, yeah, exactly a cell phone as well. Mobile phone. Mm. Oh, almost gonna get the gold berry. So we, we basically, so we're, we're gonna 100% this game. Oh, heck, oh, we're done. Oh, Karma Game Sphere. Oh, yeah, that does sound familiar. Game Sphere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okama. What is that again? Game, game Sphere is from Drake and Josh. There's like this episode where he's like a Game Sphere, and he's like he gets like, he's afraid. Like his mum gives him like his grandma gives him like a Game Sphere. <laughs> Does it not exist? No, it's I like think a it was in console. South Park as well. Yeah, it's like a you know like a fictional console in essence. All right, let's. Are you say. sure it was Drake and Josh, not South Park? Oh, definitely Drake and Josh. I I can I can quote that show like verbatim. It was it was it, that, yeah. You can quote that show just like the film of a bait. Yeah. <laughs> coming, to a, coming to a YouTube channel. Uh, um, coming near to a you. YouTube channel what? near you. Yeah. See, yeah, G4's got it. James. Because Drake, because Josh goes, it's spherical. Spherical. Like, because he, he, um, Josh always repeats. I'm things cylindrical. Emphasis. emphasis. Okay, sorry. Sorry for all the people that don't understand that reference. Okama Gamesphere was also in South Park, says Fraser. Oh, Fraser's yeah. here. Yeah. Avril says 100% Drake and Josh. Yes. Exactly. Don't, don't fuck with my uh, Drake and Josh references, boy. Alright. Uh, yeah. All right. That's racist. <laughs> can't say, can't say don't boy. To a... yeah. I'll stop there. Oh god, the, the tunnels. You know how do you? Or did you? Do you think this? Is, I've never really asked this question, but that like the tunnels as a level is such a late you think level I'm pretty? concept, but you get it anyway. You it's a I mean? late. Like, what? It's like such a late level concept. Like the idea that you can't go to certain sections without certain amounts of um, grain. Like it's very complicated. It's a very complicated R level for only the second level. Are you game. saying it's a late game concept because they kind of did the exact same thing? Later in the hopper level, was um, that actually? Was that no, with grain I'm, as well? I'm pretty sure this is the only level. Oh no, you had to gates. damage him. Oh no, 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 no! You're right, you're right, you're right. The the, the the level, um, the city, the city has the has the gates. Oh well, that as well. Yeah, yeah I mean it's kind yeah, of different. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, no. I was thinking of the uh, hopper level, but that's completely different. Actually, I think you just damage him a few times, and then like he the crashes and through then, these rat. Place. Also, also, um, this level is like this level is like those parts of the level you absolutely have to go to them. Like you actually have to go to that section um, in order to in, in the order city. to like, complete the level. Yeah. Whereas this one, they're just sort of like optional caves. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I remember always. Yeah, because this was a weirdly sort of claustrophobic level or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I remember usually just. Yeah, it's probably the one that most... Yeah, I mean, Flame of 
Udun says this level scared the shit out of him yeah. as a kid. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say that it uh, scared the shit out of me, but yeah, it uh, it was uncomfortable in a way. Um, wh whereas it isn't at all now. I, I feel like it's kind of fun to sort of explore all the all the side bits and everything and get get everything uh, yeah. that that is to get. But yeah, um, and it's also the first thing really. Or maybe the only level where those uh, sort of coloured, weird, <laughs> those coloured folk, um, what's it called? The, f the you know those those weird la landmarky things, like the I don't have no fucking clue what they are, but the, there's like this sort of coloured smoke coming out of them. Yes. Sort of yes, yes. 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 What the fuck? Is I never even realised what I never figured out what they were, ever. Yeah, but like, they they sort of help you sort of um, yeah remember where oh this is this bit and this is that bit but I mean it 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 probably as opposed to actually you know designing the level to be somewhat less confusing which I I honestly don't really mind a somewhat confusing level because it can sort of I mean that can sometimes be part of the gameplay you know maybe this is supposed to be. Uh, kind of a confusing maze of tunnels, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, it is. I mean, it's very. It's. I think it's intentionally intricate for sure. Um, I, and yeah, and fact, I don't see it as as yeah. sort of artificial difficulty or something because, no, no, uh, in a way, it's kind of immersive to sort of use your own to try and sort of, you know, figure it out and sort of uh, map it out, even though it's kind of uh, confusing and still get everything. I mean, but those 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 uh, coloured smoke thingies they do about like one percent of a job if that or like a fraction of a percent of actually helping you out of, of making things clearer yeah, yeah. Uh, but i think this is the only level that that i would really think it actually somewhat you know helped would, a yeah would help yeah i mean because i would say it's probably in terms of 100%ing, it's probably one of the most, uh, in the top three most non-linear levels. Um, in terms of getting to the end, it's pretty uh, linear. But in terms of actually, like 100%ing it, you, it's you weird. do it. To... It's weird. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it like a very, I wouldn't call it like a very, you know, non-linear level. It, it does have, yeah, because it is just a series of, of interconnected tunnels. So it's more like, you know, it's more like a line with some, with some branches uh, yeah, the, the, the branch, the branches can kind of take if you actually if you look at this level as like yeah. a top down level there's like there's like a bit that takes you back to like almost the start yeah yeah always, it, it I always like got comes confused back there. around and everything yeah it's sort of there's like there are some, some bits off the beaten path you're going to see them in it, uh, very soon where you get the um, the grain machine which I thought such a I mean that's another thing that I thought, found so cool about this game is that if you can't be bothered getting the um, if you can't be bothered getting the uh, the gold berry you the can use flexible. this like grain machine oh. to basically um, <laughs> yeah. like get the gold berry it's like a gold berry machine or something grow I don't know what it, I don't know what rain, fuck rain, it is rain. it's weird what other level was uh, unsettling to you flame of Udun because he's saying the more he sees this the more he realizes how unsettling the game was for me not just this level apparently yeah. James, uh, but, Edi uh, James edition says hey mate from the UK hello UK yeah, joke. oh shit yeah, at least uh, this time is still doable for the UK as well. Yeah. But like, um, so uh, actually, one of the things that those spiders did, did creep me out a bit. The spiders that, not the black spiders, but the ones who uh, shot webs at you. They'd always oh, like. Yeah. Creep. And that's yeah, yeah. the thing with this game as well is like, like, the enemies always respawn like randomly when you don't have like the camera pointed towards huh. their sort of spawn point so to speak so it's always just as you sort of turn away from their spawn point or like where they're supposed to be walking about i think uh then they sort of sneak up on you all of a sudden and, and i think yeah and with, with the whole the i think what what makes me say this level is just so ridiculously um uh like what makes it so ridiculously non-linear is when is it actually the, the action of getting the gold berry you have to then go back and explore like yes. the rest of the level like it's crazy yeah how that's much... the that's the that's the cool sort of um, puzzly part about this level, I suppose. Um, 
Uh, but like that's still kind of open-ended yeah like but but the thing is like i think a lot of other levels feel more feel more non-linear to me than this one like what's this a, one what's does a, what, what, um i mean even ant, ant island is like in, a, in a this sense. one you can sort of change up the order of where you sort of go but there's like yeah for instance the city levels or like um uh, yeah what else <laughs> Like there, there's some like the tree a little bit maybe. I mean, I mean just general like sort of open uh, areas and like you know Ant Hill, Part Two. There's sort of like more open areas where you can sort of just explore around a bit uh, uh, freely. Um, and wh whereas in this one you you're mostly just going from tunnel to tunnel so to speak. I don't know like maybe. Yeah, maybe it's just the feeling of openness, I suppose, that, that this level doesn't oh, really Oh, yeah, the have. level the level itself looks very close in terms of its actual concept of, uh, you know, tunnels itself are very sort of, you know, yeah, intricate. Yeah, the general design of it is just uh, a, a maze, really. Kind of. <clears throat> I got the gold berry. You're about to, you're about to find out. I want the gold. Where the gold at? What the gold, sucker? Hulk Hogan, we're coming for you, nigga. <laughs> what? No, yeah, wasn't it yeah. this? Do you know that like sort of weird thing that they did, which I think was staged and kind of disgraceful, really, <laughs> uh, in a way. Like it's almost racist, really. Is but it like, WWE? Because it probably is disgraceful. I think yeah. it was Alabama. No, no, no. It was like in Mobile, Alabama. Like they did this news report on like basically this neighborhood that ha that housed a lot of the negro and uh they basically like were saying that they were convinced that there was some kind of leprechaun um sort of they spotted a leprechaun somewhere and get, they basically had all these people they sort of had these sort of you know where they were sort of talking to the reporter and uh you know that they, they were all like crazy like and then and this one woman like i think it's a crackhead that got hold of the wrong stuff yeah. and like, and like uh, artists sort of sketches and, and stuff oh, like God. that you know, artist interpretations of the l leprechaun and, and like this one guy who like brought this strange flute or something was like yeah this was passed down from my grandfather and his grandfather and uh and it's uh, a leprechaun flute that uh Lured the leprechaun out, and uh, I just and they genuinely believe out. in this. Well, supposedly, apparently, I mean, I feel like they were sort of coerced into like putting on a show, but <laughs> like it just ends up looking like their uncle. I mean, uh, like they're, uh, you know, they're sort of acting like the looking like the their uncle Sam, crazy dumb black guys. Yeah, it's not Uncle Sam so much. It's, there's a different name, like some other character. That would sort of, uh, you know, make black people look stupid or something. Oh, but, fuck, uh, are you fucking serious? Look at this. Well, I'll probably have to wait half a minute. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Hey, wait. Sorry, I should have said that. I should have said that. Like, yeah, no, don't worry about it. I could refresh it, actually. Here we go. Don't just worry keep about that. That's my fault. Minute. I was freaking out over nothing. That's all right. Sean is shit. <laughs> Sean would not appreciate that. I can't believe you denigrated him like that. Shaun of the Dead? <laughs> I actually, hey, I watched Hot Fuzz. Yeah, you, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I was, that's actually yeah, why. That was in the other yeah. stream. That was in the other stream where I was hashtag yeah. swatted. Except not really. <laughs> By the fuzz. Yeah, it's, the Hot Fuzz got to me. Fuck. Oh, God. I'm half expecting a bang on the window right now. I shouldn't I shouldn't encourage it. I shouldn't <laughs> even talk about it. I don't even know who the fuck it was. Expecting Probably just a bang. bang. So, we're about halfway there. Point. Whoa, whoa, living on a prayer. We're nearly there, I think you're more than halfway there. Whoa, whoa. That sounds like Angus singing. Whoa, whoa, whoa yeah. living <laughs> on a prayer. Yeah. Well, no, that was way too melodical. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I can't, I can't, I can't do wrong, like, whoa, yeah, melodies. Whoa, whoa, like, living <laughs> on a prayer. Hey, NP Carlson live in the chat. Oh, my God. How you going, NP? And Dick Carlson is uh, one of the premier, and I mean this, premier, is sorry, it? premier uh, YouTube poopers out there. 
Uh, he's a fantastic, oh, cheer. A fantastic. Lad. I love YouTube. Over twelve thousand <laughs> subscribers, doing very, very well. And um, yeah, can't, I was I can't, kind of doing. Can't wait for I was doing one. sort of YouTube poop shit before there was like YouTube poop on YouTube. But like, I, uh, I was doing it before. Yeah. Before it but killed. like, yeah. No, I don't Nah, but I was just doing it like with games on my own, like replacing this, like with Max Payne 2, I was like replacing the sound files with like sentence mixing everything from the sounds of the games, uh, of the game itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just replacing that in the game so that, yeah, all the characters were saying loot as fuck things and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, and I sort of had no idea that other people would do I mean probably other people were doing that as well but then you know it, yeah but it, it was didn't still... have a name it didn't have a title yeah 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 no I know yeah I mean, I... like I think even then then like people started doing the oblivion stuff I think also kind of before YouTube poops like they had this oblivion rumors thing like the Elder Scrolls oblivion stuff that like characters who would tell you rumors and they'd sentence mix those to say loot things <laughs> Make them about school, yeah, the... school uh, memes. Oh my god, I can't believe <laughs> Jenny got with Craig. Jenny Craig? Oh, not... <laughs> no, it was like stupid shit like... I love gadget beans. <laughs> and just like some guy, some Argonian, because they all had the yeah voice. And uh, he said like a word that ended in beans. So like, you know, like three of those videos was just like that that word pasted in everywhere. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, you. You should look it up sometime. Uh, Oblivion rumors. I bet it goes back to like 2006. Is it on your channel? Tajit Pines. It's on your channel. Isn't no, it? it's not. No, it's not on my channel. I haven't uploaded any poop type stuff. Yeah, there's only a very. I I have a rare album, which is kind of in the similar style. The whole Apple, you know, this, the whole um, hard style sort of album, which is sort of inside <laughs> inside jokes mixed. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's, that is technically there was sentence mixing in that because I just recorded long, like sort of uh, me just doing impressions of those teachers, and then we'd sort of sentence mix them up into <laughs> saying a bunch of loot shit, but like. Um, yeah, NPC Carlton, I mean uh, Carlson, says uh, YouTube poops are technically older than YouTube. The first official was 2004. So. Oh wow! Um, let me guess. Like he's a, new he's a scholar. Type thing? Like a... that's why he's got the. Oh uh, yeah. maybe. What 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 else was there? I I remember uh, YouTube was competing for a little bit with um, break.com break i remember that yeah yeah God, but some they, weird shit on they, that yeah oh uh, yeah that is the thing because they didn't take shit down like youtube like from this like from early on sort of started being really um you know kind of upping the corporate ante so to speak yeah, yeah, you know yeah. sort of, um they sort of really started taking videos down very much uh, uh, like for you know, violations of whatever. Probably knew Google were going to buy them pretty early. Well, yeah, well, that was still a while away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, I think they and always they knew that they needed was... to get to some kind of, um, like, you know, profitable I think platform. they just had better business sense in general, though. Like, and that's also why oh, they sort too, of yeah. kept growing a lot bigger. I mean, it's not like, you know, I don't think like, oh, censoring is better business sense or whatever, but... Just in general, they were a lot better at sort of creating hype and and um, um, and yeah, sort of keeping the interest up. And whereas and and just and just designing the website itself, just making the navigation a lot better, and uh, and also the bandwidth and everything, and coding and everything. Um, but yeah, Break.com for a while. They would only have like the Opie and Anthony videos up because I think someone at YouTube, or it was just a bunch of like anti Opie and Anthony people, but and they <laughs> would constantly and Anthony since that they have Opie been around since the birth of time, basically. This I can use. They probably predate. Opie they would predate the internet actually. Um. Maybe. Well, well maybe the I think they started in 1994, so there was internet then, but not really. 
you know, yeah, widespread. Yeah, to go on the freaking Usenet forums and shit. <laughs> like, uh, the old days. God, I couldn't imagine what it would have been like being a wrestling Napster. fan back then. It'd be absolutely fascinating to me. Alright, now... Yeah, I think they had wrestlers on. Yeah, they, no, they, they did, and, like, wrestlers, like, they used to have, like, wrestlers, like, the wrestlers would, like, be on the forums, like, sort of, like, um, you know, posing as other people, like, posing as just fans and stuff, and, like, they, it was actually, like, they had a, you know, the, you know, their share of, like, psychos and stuff like that, but there was also, like, this level of, of, um, method to and the madness, And they're also non-wrestlers. Yeah, non -re Yeah, I don't know. Like, they, they, it was like I don't know. Back then, because it was less popular, um, you could almost like take like the internet was like more of a like I don't know. Like, you have to be a certain type of person to be on the internet back in like the nineties. Yeah, like one you know? of those. I always imagine those people like from the South Park episode of uh, Make Love Not Warcraft. I think yep. it was called. Like, just this this guy like behind his PC, like with like you know the biggest like double chin ever and like just sort of hunched back or, or like uh <clears throat> slumped back in his chair just <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> no this neck beard fat guy back in the day uh but then again um yeah anthony from opium anthony was also big into that big into stuff back in the day and i suppose sort of I think it did get a bit more popular around like younger people as well, like college people, because of the porn <laughs> that uh, they knew they could get. Get ready for some gore, guys. Get ready. Oh my god, destroyed. <laughs> Look at that. Speaking about porn, get ready for some gore. <laughs> get ready for some explosive shit right now. Yeah, no, it's pretty, pretty. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I kind of wish I could have. Um, well, I don't actually. I don't really wish I could have been around. I kind of wish I could have like, jumped watched into porn on the internet in the nineties. Oh, you yeah, know, exactly. Like, all that. Just see the image, shit. like scroll. You know, like the image had to load, and it was like sort of line by line. It would sort of like, you know, like there'd be like a horizontal line appearing underneath. You know, like as it's loading up the image, just for a picture. That's uh, that's. You know, it's all about, it's all about pixel density, like, you know, the quality back then, you know, just <laughs> immense, you know, you had to be good. I mean, these days people are trying to recreate it, you know, with filters. <laughs> yeah, the VHS aesthetic. So I'm just uh, checking my uh, messages here. Got a message from my boss about PHP versions. That's, that's my life and I love it. It's very important. It's very, very important. If Caleb, you're still watching, then uh, you know what I'm talking about. Buddy. I love... Christine, I love you, and I bake. Sorry, it's just... I only have these stupid in-jokes, like, that nobody fucking is gonna get. Christine. Well, not in-jokes. Oh, it's from this other fucking radio show. Oh. And, like... Radio they memes. Just, yeah, it's, it's basically that radio memes. So we got, uh, Fucking Cameron is asking, uh... Yeah. If... If, uh... If the new, you know, sort of HD remasters. Well, they're not. Then they're actually just. They're not HD remasters. They're essentially just upscaled PS2 versions. They're like it's just like basically emulation. It's like using PCSX2. <clears throat> That's essentially what oh, they're doing. Okay. But yeah, but yeah, you, you have. Yeah, so you get like the same artifact. You get like one <laughs> eye from that <laughs> missing. Yeah. Fuck oath. Nah. I hope not. But the thing is, right? They can, they can just use. Uh, they have the the license to use the same coding, though, surely. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, essentially, it's it's just it's an emulation thing. Like, I mean, they can do whatever they want. Like, Sony could improve it if they wanted to, but. Um, mm, but yeah. I'm saying they don't need to emulate it. Really, they can just uh, they can use. I mean, some hardware parts they might need emulating, but. But like okay, they, yeah, they yeah. can actually they have the rights to the code to the source code. Whereas yes, like yes, yes, yes. PCSX2, the problem is, they yeah. See the problem. The it. problem is with the problem is with um with Naughty Dog code, is that it's basically a nightmare to decipher because they pretty much create their own engine <laughs> within the game. So like, what's a normal PS2 quote unquote code, um, is is Not like dog, it's okay. just a load yeah. of shit compared to um, it's just like a load of shit compared to. Uh, like the PS2 and when I say load of shit, I kind of mean it in a good way. I mean it in like a um, I mean it in a uh, It's a quirky math Yeah, I, I don't know. What am I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm trying to say that it, it, it's not they, It would be one of the hardest games to like take 
and then just all of a sudden make it, um, you know, fix it with with. Yeah, like, but I'm not I'm not talking about the source code of the game. I'm talking about the source code of just the way of the PlayStation 2, uh, you know, BIOS and everything. Yeah. Like just the 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 way the PlayStation sort of engine and everything sort of. Uh, yeah. Works. Yeah, yeah, I get. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I, like I'm gonna can... I'm gonna check it out if only for the fact that it's the only way to play uh, Jack X in a proper capacity because Jack X was never released as part of that HD collection, so that's cool. I mean, but to to get to get to to get to uh, Cameron's question, nice. do I think we're gonna get a Jack Four? Um, I would love to have the optimism and say yes, but I don't think Naughty Dog's in that space of mind anymore. They're, 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 I wouldn't really be that interested in it, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, present Naughty anyway, Dog doesn't really. This is going to be not the same people. But yeah. yeah, it's not. It's not. I'm not really into it that much. Um, I'm not doubting that um, they're not talented people by any stretch. Uh, I don't think they are. Even if I'm not into this sort of the the, the, the new game, but I think that they're not. They're not in that. They don't really make games like Jack anymore, which I think is a shame because Jack is they have Jack is such a great genre. Um, it's because it's not it's not it's you know people say oh it's just a GTA clone but for like platformers but it's not it really is it was a lot more than that all three games were a lot more than that yes um, I mean it's also not I mean there's way less driving for one I mean there, there's not even that much driving in it um, in, in whereas what, in Jack? like Jack yeah like compared I mean to, if you compare it to oh GTA like, yeah, 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 to GTA yeah. it's like almost a driving simulator yeah 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 especially yeah. like oh, GTA absolutely. three and, Absolutely. But like, um, no, but I also, I mean, my favorite, favorite game from that franchise is the first one. And that's nothing like GTA, obviously. No, no, no not, at all. Um, not at all. So, I mean, that's just, yeah, it's just a really good platform. It's like, yeah, it's like Crash Bandicoot and, and sort of Mario 64 take it to whole new levels or something. Um, but yeah, I mean they they've just got an entirely different development strategy these days. So and different people really. Yeah. Um that's true. And the problem is as well like you can't just like for example like uh, Cameron saying they should just give it to a new st studio. Well, I mean they kind the of problem tried is that with in the, 2009. Yeah, the, the market frontier. isn't there to begin with for a for a studio to have the right um, budget to budget really make it happen. And sort yeah. of, yeah, and expectations and people working on it because basically everyone wants to make money regardless. And the mainstream gaming market isn't what the mainstream gaming market used to be, I suppose. No. Um, uh, goodbye, Avril Prime. Goodbye, Av uh, Av wait, good, Avril left. Good sleep. Oh, where's this? Oh, yeah. I missed miss it. Oh, there you go. Oh. Whoa! You actually get the chat before me. Twenty-three next week. Well, good luck uh, with the with the twenty-three. I'm, I hacked in. Um, I'm I'm T dosing you now. Yeah, it's over. Good luck. Good luck being twenty-three next week. I'm sure we'll uh, we'll talk after that. I'm sure you'll catch catch another stream. Um, I'm so yeah. twenty-three. And oh, we have Sky. Who's who's Sky Artisan? Who's that? I don't. Know. I've definitely heard of that name. Sky Sky Artisan. Random. I've absolutely seen comments from from this person. <laughs> person of interest. This person. Pair. And pair. we've got son, uh, oh, Bob son of Panthers a here as well. He's ca catching it live. Good stuff. We've got... Uh, PCX, uh, PCSX2, sorry to interrupt, is uh, quite capable now of doing uh, Jack and Dexter 1. Yeah, uh, and, and Ratchet might need a pretty powerful CPU. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. I've played... Uh, with, with mapping. Ratchet and Clank again, uh, sort of fairly recently, yeah, it's working Yeah, it's because of the MIP, MIP mapping function, um, yeah, which is like basic. it didn't used to work in hardware. No, no, mode, I mean, MIP, MIP now, mapping uh, is quite important for emulation of PlayStation, and PlayStation 2, as, as Mr. Mode said, how it would be expensive to port the source code over, so that, yeah, P, PS2 is a nightmare Well, that's of, the of thing, they can't use, they're not allowed to use the source code, so they have to make new code that does the same stuff basically yep. so they have to like sort of get all do all these loopholes and like and it's, it's almost as if they have to emulate it <laughs> yeah well yeah that's why i was saying that's like 
really uh, the PS4 doesn't really need to do a lot of emulation except for some hardware parts you know being done by by software I suppose so right. I guess that's still sort of emulation um, yeah I'm sure I'm sure but yeah, I'm it's sure a lot they've... easier for them to get it working properly yeah no it's interesting uh, I, I a jack 4 by a competent developer um, could be awesome but I, I almost feel like it's like you need the people that did the story of the original because there's also so think cool about the story you should yeah okay the story there's definitely exactly that's why you need the original writer and then sort of you know visionary so to speak because that's the thing as well like i i don't tend to place as much stock in franchises as i place in the people who develop them okay so yeah. like i mean because that in the end it, like the people who develop them and sort of the setup that they have for developing them like yeah. the uh, because there's so much that has a huge influence on just the creative environment um, that sort of fucks with a game's development, especially in like modern sort of, uh, you know, bigger studios, um, you know, that Naughty Dog is as well. There's just a lot of, you know, sort of specialized people just doing, you know, smaller tasks and everything. And there's not, not really, they're not really sort of close knit and there's not like really a guy with a vision there's just there's just like okay we want to make this look cool you're in charge of making all the cutscenes flow over perfectly into a fucking you know into a um, into gameplay yeah like sort of the, yeah the transit yeah and, you know the sort of menial you know make it look flashy and stuff like that and um and then, and then they outsource sort of everything that they can so to, so to speak like there's so much sort of stock stuff in there you know like they just take uh they just basically contact some company in japan and say like okay we need stock models for like uh brick walls or this or that you know like oh and, and i've we've heard they're quite good at it or like we we want to, the main character to be like this type of a chick and then they they get some kind of artists in uh from like a completely different place to do that instead of having sort of you know as they used to have just you know sort of a dozen close-knit people in one office doing all of the coding and all yeah. of the yeah. writing and everything together i um, think the, the problem lies with and i think and that's a big reason why a lot of developers don't do um 3D platformers as much anymore I think it comes from the fact that the amount of effort that it takes no. you know I mean there is immense these that days. is the thing but the thing is right it doesn't take that much effort it's just that the 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 I mean it doesn't have to take a lot more effort it's just that the expectations that uh, the mainstream audience has is that it has to look like a fucking like concept art you know it has to look like a, a screenshot yeah. uh, wherever you look yeah. so then the focus is just it's just uh, put purely on uh you know overly you know focusing on details of, of a of a thing and like on the on on yeah just making everything look like it's a, a movie pretty much whereas the actual game and the gameplay completely suffers, and the level design is super well, linear yeah, I mean, and super I, restrictive. I, talking, bringing it to um, uh, like Spyro fan game development, you know, something that I, I uh, like to think I specialize in. But you know, like Dude, one of the things that I've told to, I've said to some developers and stuff like that is, folk, don't focus on making it look like next gen, you know, like PS2 graphics when you're a one-person team. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You have to instead dial it back, you know, make it in a st art style that you can memorize and understand and, you know, like a, like a PS1 style, you know, you know, one person can easily do a PS1 style these days. You can't make a PS3 game with one person in terms of like, it, like in a realistic time frame, obviously. No, and it's, I mean, it's sort of, I, I'm sort of always for, um, I tend to be for you know having at least another person anyway in a sort of a development team yeah, yeah. because feedback is incredibly important like for a for a uh, 
yeah sort of a creative process like that I, I think and like you can sort of really get especially for something that takes as long as and takes as much effort and sort of technicality as as developing a game being on your own like you can sort of get really bogged down and sort of like sort of get True. lost in in um in stuff and, and you sort of you you lose perspective so so you don't have the fresh eyes anymore basically uh and and th that's where like sort of another person's input can be pretty important like and and preferably a person with some you know with some credibility not just yeah. random spyro fans or something not to you know not to yeah i know what you're saying i know what you're saying because they sometimes don't know what's good for them you know <laughs> yeah no definitely no i get that and yeah it's it's, it's definitely um it's definitely like i'm thinking like there's a spyro game that's got uh, right now um that was originally going by the title spyro 4 but it's been changed to myths awaken and um he has he has uh you know he changed his art style you know to make to match the original games because one he, he loves that style he knows that style he knows how to emulate it he knows how to do it and it's more realistic because he can't be designing ps2 level textures um yeah by himself or even with one person even there's a few people on the team now which is great but you can't you can't you can't expect someone to do that it's just yeah it's not and feasible. I, I, I think that's fine like even I, i'm like I've, I've been like blown away though with what people have done with with thief you know for the yeah, fan the missions thief for that the thief right uh, yeah mods and stuff yeah, uh yeah they sort of yeah they they make like new ma maps for that and like some of that just looks amazing as well but yeah sometimes th there'll be this guy who like goes like completely crazy making it look like super cinematic and everything and then again you can sort of tell that the gameplay suffers a bit more but it's still there's still a lot possible like a game can still look beautiful and be designed beautifully without looking like a movie without looking super definitely. realistic definitely you know? um and i think it's more in the creativity of the design and not so much in the technical detail um you know which is really fairly out did did you hack your way up there no I'm, no I'm I, jumped, totally I, I made it really no, i made fun. it i don't know oh, yeah it, it feels like that was too high like you're doing a double jump up there don't worry i'm not like scolding you or anything about it <laughs> you got me i'm cheating yeah. <laughs> cheating uh, yeah, there's there's a bunch of people talking about um, more like remakes uh, in this in the vein of uh, Ensign Trilogy, uh, you know, for Spyro, Spyro or course, uh, yeah. Yeah. or even this game. Oh uh, fuck yeah! I'd love a I'd love a blows, Monsters Inc. Blows blows life your... Toy Story. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like obviously, I think obviously, that's obviously the thing, it's not going to happen. Again, I, I think actually. they're I think they're fine as they are in the, in a way. Like, uh, and especially with with games like these they are so clunky and quirky in a way and that's sort of almost part of the, the charm. charm to them i feel like you know even though like i guess this game can be sometimes frustrating to control but like sure i don't know i feel like it sort of has a has a look to it that i think i think it conveys perfectly what it's supposed to convey and i don't think it needs to look any more like a pixar movie or anything than oh, no. it, than it already does you know so I, I i i really don't put much stock in the uh in the actual remakes you know yeah i mean i, uh, I i'd rather i would rather focus see on making new games i would rather if, if you want to bring back the toy story ip um heck i mean you you know if you want to like do a sort of a remaster sort of style i would i would absolutely like to see a toy story one toy story game. one yeah. yeah i mean you know, there's a, you know there's there's definitely potential with that you know pizza planet cool um, I fucking love Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet? Cool. That was like my favorite part of Disneyland. The the. This, this a, oh it. god, that sounds great. In Paris, yeah, they oh, had like. Uh, they had a Pizza Planet. They had, yeah, they had a Pizza Planet like restaurant type thing. It was awesome. Fuck. Oh, that sounds brilliant. I, I think they it. even had the. I mean, not that that's like that hard to do to pull off, but like they had, you know, they had the. I don't know what what do you call those machines where you like you use those grappling things to like pick the to like pick the toys out of the uh, oh the, the uh, claw yeah yeah the yeah, claw yeah. exactly that I think they have one of those. <laughs> he will Classic. choose who will stay and who will go <laughs> I I really don't the mystic don't have portal that waits sort of 
Stop it! Stop it, you zealots! I think it's, it's because I saw all, the, all those films in Dutch, so I don't really have like those quotes sort of. Uh, well, you never saw them. You never see them sub, did you? No, did you? Like for you, sub. I probably. I probably rewatched them. I think I rewatched Toy Story one and two when uh, three came out. Oh, in English. Uh, so yeah. I and I think I yeah I think I watched them in English. Um, but but later than that, I, I've I've mostly focused on the actual Disney, you know, the the nineties classics, the musical type stuff with the Alan Menken music, like yeah. Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid. Uh, yeah, fucking, yeah. Uh, not a lot of games. Not a lot of. Uh, I mean, there was some, you know, Aladdin. I, I guess was a uh, 3D platformer as well. I think there was like a. a oh, 2D Aladdin! Aladdin that... the Sierra's Revenge was a game. Oh right, so that was like sort of a sequel, wasn't it? A director um, video, director VHS. No, uh, Aladdin. Video. Yeah, I think there was another Aladdin. I mean, there's an Aladdin video game, and then, but I think it was based off. Yeah. Off of, yeah, because yeah, Aladdin had like one or two sequels, like Prince of Thieves and then another one. Um, I, um, I try to think, the, the, it was like, the, I mean, the, yeah, so people in the chat earlier um, were bringing up, so I, I did see that before. You guys were talking about um, Tarzan, uh, the, the uh, Tarzan, the, the game, and there yeah. was like a Tarzan free ride game, which I think I bought for like $2. So I have Free that. ride? It's like it's like you like ride on the vines and shit, or like on the tubes or whatever it is. Like yeah, no, no. like like you slide along them, like sitting on like yeah, oh no, on you your get, feet. But, yeah, you, you might wedge yourself. Yeah, I won't go. Yeah, into I was that gonna detail. say like is he is he just grinding yeah. the vine? Um, now then, I guess now I think I I do seem to remember him. Sort of gliding along vines with, oh well, not vines, yeah, you could, like, but like skate on them. It's almost like you skated on them. Basically, it's like you're sort of surfing. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, surfing. Yeah, yeah. And then we've also, and then MP Carlson and a couple of people. Uh, actually, no, just MP Carlson. There was some, someone said Disney Magical Remate Racing. Yeah, I, I played that like once. I think Ratchet Fuck Five yeah. did LPE of that. Um, that was fun. That was yeah. fun. I've played it. I've played it a couple of times. It's a good game. Um, so it was the Looney Tunes racing I one. That was kind of fun. Um, but there was another one. What was it? Uh, there was another Hydra one. Thumb. What was it called? Um, yeah, that's you know. MP Carlson brought up Toy Story Racer. That was an excellent. That was an excellent game in terms of just how long it takes to beat. I just always found that funny. Okay. Yeah, I was never that much. The only racing games I played were like Hydra Thunder and. Um, <laughs> <coughs> uh... <laughs> Fuck. I'm what was to the say you oh, oh, I... the fuck am I doing? Oh uh, you <laughs> You can actually throw them over there if you just stand just on like you can throw them over the gaps if you stand sort of just on the edge. Yeah. I think what I need to do is I need to get I need to get the last um like ability which is the um the last which is like the the, the throw I know I can do it but the proper way to do it is to I've lost my speedrunning abilities, for, uh, boys and girls. So I need to. I don't think um, there's a throwing ability in this. You know, the the one that sort of like, lifts you up. It like lifts you, basically. Um, oh shit! Yeah, that's. But yeah, that's actually the first one that you get for for the brown seed. No, no, it's it's, it's the one after this one. It's the one after the. No, it's the one. Oh no, you're right. No, yes, yeah, sorry, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yes, yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That's the first. Yeah. Yeah, you sorry. need a brown token. Here it is. Here's the brown, brown token black guy. Oh yeah, the other racing game I did was um, Lego Stunt Rally. <laughs> oh, I remember it was that. Such a dinky fucking. It was hardly a racing game. It was more like because you didn't even have to steer. I'd love to do a let's play of that actually. Well, I mean, <laughs> you had to basically. I mean, you could steer, but it would automate. It was like isometric perspective basically, yeah. and. You'd um, you basically just press forward, but then you sort of let off the the acceleration a bit when there's a bend coming up, and it sort of automatically go through a bend. But I mean, you could steer, but there was really hardly any. But the the fun part about it was uh, unlocking pieces of tracks, like because there was were all these stunt parts that you could unlock, and you could make your own tracks. So that was kind of cool. And 
sort of show cool animations and everything as as they go. Like you get you get shot out of a cannon and stuff like that. Yeah, I uh, never I, I never played. I I know when you're talking. I know when you're talking about. But there was also Lego Races. Um, which yes, you that's made, a yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. A different Th that one, one was exactly. more popular. Yeah, where the fuck did that go? So I, that fell. Right, where does it Lego Races? Does it just warp back? I oh, feel it like it yeah. must. Oh. Yeah. Oh, when you throw it. Where the fuck did it go? Yeah, so you, you see in a second, it, it, uh, it pops uh. up. Oh, God. Okay. okay. So we got a... We'll just... um, M and M's had a racing game. M and M's game. had a racing game. Yeah, I remember that as well. And Ants had a racing game as well. What? Fuck. I love Ants. Yeah. Fucking Woody Allen. Was Woody Allen in there, was he? He's the main character, yeah. Wow, yeah. this is such a Jewish film. It's Woody Allen and then like directed by uh Mike okay, they, they don't sound Jewish, but like written by Paul White, Chris White and Todd Hang on. Todd Alcott. Okay, that doesn't sound That sounds French or something. Alcott. It's always these two Jewish brothers who make films or write films. Paul White, and then there's the, uh, actually the Farrelly brothers fuck. are probably Italian. <laughs> Sake, I need where the fuck. But, but the who were the guys who made uh, Airplane again? Airplane. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there were these two Jews as well. Um, it's a bit off topic. Gosh, what about Shrek for PS1? Yeah, that game was fucking weird. That game was weird. I, I saw How many like Shrek a... games are there? Shrek I remember the playing PS1 Shrek is... Team Action, which was like Shrek 2. It was Shrek 2 Team Action, which is like Action. sort of... Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have it. I mean. it. Oh, oh yeah. Now I get it. It was on the top shelf at a video uh, rental. Apparently it was a porno. Whoops. But... Uh, no, double teaming action, but like um, so. But but then there was another Shrek 2 game as well, and yeah, they were both 3D platformers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 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 so it's, confusing. It's kind of funny how the how how yeah. There's there's like almost like a, an over overkill amount of uh, Shrek games. Look, I mean, I, I I played the team up Shrek one. Is like, so then, so you're saying that yeah, yeah. so you're saying that there was a, there was a Shrek. There was another Shrek 3D platform where you only play as Shrek, or what? Yeah, I think. I mean, I don't know if you know Shrek Team Action. I don't think you do, right? Team Action, I think, was the one that I played, which, which it wasn't okay. called Team Action, but like, I mean, that might be a Dutch. Was it like you could sw switch between four yeah. people? Yep, yep, I had that one. Yeah, and they they had like different moves. It was pretty cool. I think I probably want to let's play that <laughs> at some point. Um. Yeah, like one of them could like slow down time a lot, and then, and uh, yeah, you had the gingerbread man. He could do something. I think he could throw like his his own leg or something. Fuck's sake! Uh, this is bullshit. It's a spo <laughs> spoiler for spoiler for. Although what you can do is uh, put down one of those propeller things. Yeah, I don't and have enough. Also... I don't... <laughs> okay, because that's how I used to do it. I think, by the way, if you want to throw it over the. Uh, Sort of over the uh, whatever th that is the the chasm. I think you have to be like it, in like the middle part where where it's the thinnest or something. Yeah. yeah okay. Gingerbread for cookies. You do. Hero time. Yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> okay, guys. Right. I'm bringing out the big guns. Frame skipping. Yeah, baby. Yeah, How's boy. that gonna help? Oh shit. oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna get a game over by this one. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Look at that frame skipping, bruh. I'm seeing that you can now see it. Now, it, I think it may have been rendered useless by my dad. Oh, no, it didn't. It wasn't, it wasn't rendered useless. Fuck you. Did fuck. you think this was a game? Do you think this was a game? Something, something. Game over. <laughs> 
A Bug's Life 2. Yeah. Something something game of. Oh god, I always wanted a bug. You know, I, you know, such I'm such a sequel kid. I, I just as a kid I wanted a Bug's Life 2 so bad. I just I, I wanted a Monsters Inc. 2. I wanted everything too. You know, because I can't I can't I can't Oh no no two cogs at my Oh my oh you know that brought the viewers. That that no somehow just made a viewers no. spike. You know, you know, you guys, you guys are all secretly like big fans of my uh, 40 Winks Let's Play. So I was gonna say this is literally like, this is literally the most frustrating part of the game. And like, if if you just join in for this, it's amazing. Perfect, perfect lads. Okay. And don't I'm, worry, guys. I don't even you, know what uh, you're trying to, to be. To, to be a then. cheeky little um, what's the word? Little self promoter of events that are coming up. This is not the only capacity in which we'll be uh, talking. We'll, if you, you guys, you know, I know we, as much as we love, uh, as much as we love games like Bugs Life, Bugs I, Life. I'm very excited for Johnny's uh, Spyro One debut. Uh, I'm going to call it <laughs> because you've never commentated over Spyro One with me, so I'm really, really excited to um, talk about that, like talk about Spyro One with you, because it's something I've actually wanted to to do. Uh, um, on my channel for a while now um in it originally like in a non pod in like a sort of podcast capacity where we'll just talk but now that we actually i actually get to play the game and stream it and johnny actually gets to see what's going on i feel like it adds an extra layer of like entertainment value i don't have to like up i don't have to upload it like you know render the video it all goes up live we get to have a lot of fun um so i'm really keen get for that. pissed get pissed oh yeah i'll have some i have some my uh mismatched session ale beer and uh, yeah, we'll have a good time. Okay. You were like a fan of Dutch beer for a while. Oh, I, like, I, I, I've, I've got to get some arms still. Yeah, fuck. I, I still like I still like my Hollandia every now and then when I have Hollandia. Oh yeah, that's. Um, I saw it in like uh, one of your outros. Yeah. He gets it. I always forget that I'm on video too, so I should be doing. Should be a bit more emotive. I should be like, you know, like this. I think you should have at least one of the neck, you know. <laughs> oh god, look at that disgrace! Look at that! I oh, did it fuck up again. This. It's just a disgrace. My goddamn fuck with. All right, fuck. I with. think the last time you did this level, it worked out better, didn't it? Oh no, I'm so close to game over. Um, you're right. The last time I did this, level oh shit. Okay, so where did where did it go? Where did it go though? That's oh there it went. There. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like usually it used to. It used to always pop up, like right next to it if you dropped it in there. I feel yeah. like, but maybe not. Yeah. Okay. So there it is. So. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me just. Let me just lay down and say the status. Okay. Like you haven't even done the bit where you need to actually get the seed up on the ledge, have you? Like. Don't know if you remember. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm completely missing what what I have to do. Like. Um, like there is, there is actually an you easy just have way to, to do oh, this, fuck. but I'm doing Oh, it. you just died twice. Oh, get ready to see. Did you game over yourself? No. Oh, you, oh okay, you're safe stating, I see. I was gonna say, what the hell is this chain dying? Oh, shit. Um, oh my Christ. <laughs> 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 oh, that one's stuck in there too. <laughs> Fucking cock in the balls. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, all that for nothing. Your cock is stuck in the balls, what? <laughs> Pret says, um, I wonder why Christopher is playing an old PSX game at 12 a.m. in the morning. Well, listen, buddy. It's 11.30 for me. So, uh, excuse me. Listen Mr. here, pal. Sydney, Sydney slash Melbourne slash uh, Canberra, Canberra slash... Uh, We're on my Queensland. side of town now, cowboy, and I've got the lesson. Sorry. You're on my side of town, cowboy, and I've got the lesson. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here oh, we go. Oh shit, you made it. <laughs> I made it. Sorry, you were reading someone's comment. I'm gonna, like, piss them off now uh, by interrupting you. I'm gonna be very angry. Maybe, maybe you won't. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, this Hold is up. just absolute Hold bullshit up. now, because essentially. Wait, I, I saw a plant on there. Still, you, you can just pick that up, right? Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. I think no. Okay, okay, okay. That's goddamn bullshit. Bullshit. 
Okay. I think we need a third one. This is going to be almost longer than the original Let's Play part. Oh, shit, you can't pick that one up. Jesus. <laughs> the original Let's Play part was split into four, right? It took like 40 minutes. Yeah, but then the retrospective was only like... The retrospective I think was, was quick done as fuck. Time. Yeah. Yeah. I think you just got a bit rusty. I... We recorded this with Al as well. Oh, I remember and I that. It was late at night. He literally quit during this level and then he never uploaded this or something. That's Possibly. Right. That's, that does make sense. I do seem to remember that. Okay, so... Steadily more Austra it's getting steadily more Australian, is what I'm saying. I'm not Australian, so... I'm not kid. I'm not bothered. Not bothered. See, this is what you meant. This is what you like that you can do. Basically, this is this is the one that I'm meant to be talking about, right? You can you can get C. So you can throw that one over there. You'll see it now. Oh, and I fell because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a shrimp on the barbie. I'm a Victorian and I'm living 30 minutes in the future. Yeah. Close. Your says, "What was that Victorians. accent? Did we do an accent? Do we do an accent?" Big red <laughs> I'm trying to. Th I should not be saying I'm trying to think about something that happened like 10 seconds ago, but uh, alas. take a shot every. Take a shot every time Flick says, "Are we there yet?" <laughs> and uh, big red rocks. I think he says a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. Was it just in the in the? Take a shot the... every. Take a shot every time this bullshit happens, where you gotta like. Where where it bounces off the ledge as yeah. you try to throw it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, you're, you've only just started doing that now for me, so I'm in for like a good few minutes probably. The, the way to do it is to do it diagonally like this. Yeah. You have to, yeah, because it really bounces off. If, oh wow, uh, that was, that was insane. See, this, is, this is what makes this game's physics so cool. Insane it's like, stunt it would, bonus. It would almost be hard to like, um, it would almost be, it would almost be hard to hard emulate to this. Like Ooh. in in like the modern day, because it's just so weird. Like this whole. This that's whole the thing. thing. Yeah, that's like really hard. Like that's the. This game's really open ended. Like if you think about the if you think about Crash One and Two. Um. Oh, Pretz is having a go at the level design. I think. I mean, I mean the level design in Bugs Life is is really good for the most part. Uh, but yeah, there are some frustrating things where I think maybe. Yeah, like this is usually regarded as the one sort of rotten apple. You know what the funny thing is? I don't even know if this is a hundred percent the proper way you meant to do it. I reckon there's like an yeah, that's the that's the biggest thing with this level. Like I don't actually usually have a problem finishing this level, but I really have to concentrate. So like, you know, doing it doing it sort of while you're like talking a lot and you know streaming and everything like it might be a bit more difficult yeah yeah that's true. Uh, you know, oh you've I got the gold berry well. I'm, I'm, fuck, fuck, I'm a fuckwit i forgot to um I'm a, i forgot to do, do this in the in the freaking n64 version remember how i was freaking out how there's like the time trials i think i still will do that at some point the time trials oh yeah the time the trials and and the weird different music and how funny that they i believe if this game came out in 98 i'm pretty sure that means it All technically right. Blake, predates... Blake Jones is saying we should speak in an English accent. Oh, we should speak in an English so, uh, accent? What type of accent, though? <laughs> yeah, the Dobby. Oi, oi, let's have a spliff, Jeremy. <laughs> Fuck Dobby. Fuck Dobby. Actually, well, uh, chance would be a fine thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so I was there going out with uh, oh, John over there, and he said to me, Hey man, what you doing? I'm like, yeah, all right. I don't think. You took a yeah, shit. like Jono is kind of an Australian thing as well, though. But... John went with old John over there. I, I meant to say John over there. With old John. Oh. Over there. <laughs> and with old John over there. Who's which Bentley are they talking about? Is it Bentley from uh, Sly Cooper? Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Bentley from Spyro Three. No. He's like, you, was Bentley in Sly uh, Cooper? Who was the uh, Bentley? King? Bentley is in Sly Cooper. He's the the, uh, okay. the the pink guy. I'm not talking about Filthy Frank. Um, I thought it was the turtle. Southern accent. You want me to speak like I'm from Missouri? 
Okay. Want to wrestle me? You want Memphis no, that, style? That's, that's Memphis, yeah. You want to wrestle me, Mr. Lala? You want to wrestle me, Memphis yeah. style? Okay. I sorry, want guys. to go. Where to go then? Oh, Blake, we just speak the same Oh, never. Oh. Hey, Steph. Oh, Steph yes. Haskins in the chat. Yeah, boy. Okay. Step Hasky. Step. Step Hasky. See, you know what? You uh, know what? This is. Ex uh, 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 Flick said exactly what I was saying. He said, This isn't all what's cracked up to be. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I can agree with that assessment. That, that's absolutely. Even bad. as a kid in this level, I was like. Um, <laughs> that was just you assessing Step Hasky. Just uh, this is not all that's cracked up. <laughs> it's Steph Haskey, not all that's cracked up. But, uh, no, but, uh, what's it called? Um, which is ironic because she's not a, a cracker, she's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, uh, oh, fuck, wait, what wait. was I? Fuck. Oh, yeah, even as a kid when I was playing this level, yeah, like in the Dutch versions, he'd be saying, yeah, he, like, in the, uh, in the English versions as well, I think. Uh, it was a lot of complaining, which he didn't do in any of the other levels. So it's like the developers knew that this was a frustrating as fuck level. Wait, what, 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 what were you talking about, sorry? I'm talking about Flick. Oh, Flick. About oh, this fl game. Oh, fl yeah, yeah, okay, sorry, I thought you were actually talking about a literal I, review. I got, I got lost for a second. Like, no, 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 yeah, like Flick himself like, is like constantly complaining about... Uh, like whilst you're playing, he's like, you know, not enjoying himself, yeah. you know, he's like, are we there yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, lots of, uh... Wait, did you just forget? I think I just saw you, like, pass one of those... Sorry about that. I just saw you pass one of those, uh, worms in a... in the wall, I think. So that's gonna be fun, uh -oh. trying to find Yeah, that. no, I think I, I know I have to go back anyway, because I missed something. Um, I missed this up here, so we gotta get this, and then I also missed the, I think I missed the spider early on in that first section, which I'm an idiot for missing. Uh, here we go. We've got this section here. So here's what we have to do with this, right? We gotta throw this, so you gotta throw this up, and then... Throw up. Throw up. Okay. That's good. I think Flick's about to do that anyway. No, I fucked up, because that wasn't in the exact... It's about to flick his shit. You've got to be in the well, this... the problem is you can't put it. There's never an exact place that you need to throw because the physics system is so random that it's going to react differently every time anyway. So look at that. Look at that. Right. That's just not. You'll see it in a sec. That's not the. That's not the right. It's like it's almost impossible to get the exact correct um, angle because it's like it's like. Okay. There you go. Like that. There we go. See that pushes. Oh, you should see this. Well, you will, but it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> hey, if only there were some way that you could actually see what I'm playing right now. Oh, wait. I like Crash Bandicoot 2. Everyone's talking about their favorite Crash yes, game. My favorite Crash game is Crash 2 as well. Yeah, yeah, same. I think it's very. I reckon in, it's, I would say it's gotta be the most popular one in terms favorite. of my favorite, yeah. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think I've done it. Oh fuck, at least and you've got I've the gold berry. That's always... That's always like... When you've got the gold berry, it's like... Get the gold sucker. Because the enemies don't respawn anymore, it's like such a... Uh, a breath of relief in a weird way, like... You don't have to worry about them like popping up behind you anymore. Like... Like webbing you in the ass. <laughs> webbing you in the ass, cool term. Okay, let's do this now. Let's do this. No, let's not do this. Press. Press is making me thirsty. CPR was lit. But from the original 3 Crash 2. People like these racing games. I always found them a bit more boring than <gasps> just playing. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. Racing is an acquired taste. Yeah, yeah the, the only. But that, that's the thing. I only like the racing games that were like. Fucking super fast, like Hydro Thunder and uh, F Zero X, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is Hydro Thunder fucked. will never like. I can always just pick that up and play. Is it is it not working out for you? I think you need to put the sec. I think you might need to use two seeds, uh, three seeds for this. 
This is goddamn. I swear this is, I'm not. I'm just misremembering or something, because this seems like absolute crazy town to me. Am I there yet? Are we there yet? Yeah, exactly. Uh, um. Yeah, you need to get the seed all the way up there, and I I don't think that propeller that you've got on the ground floor can do that. You need to I've place it on like the oh second God. level. Yeah, here's what you have to do. This is a massive risk. Right, I think this is like the other correct way of doing it. This could potentially, this is this is huge. This is huge, right here. This see. could blow the roof roof off of this place. I am going to be a dirty cheat, okay, guys. So Save yeah, exactly. You, you're taking a drink. You know exactly what's coming, guys. You know exactly what's coming. Save state mania right now from the makers of WrestleMania. But I think because you can actually put these seeds, you can put them up. You can get them up on this on the first level. On this one, on the first sort of ledge here, I think you can just carry it up there, right? So but you got to get him past this <laughs> section think... here. See? Oh fuck! Yeah, but you don't have to. I think you can put one seed on the ledge and then carry another one up there and and use one of them as a propeller. Uh, no, no, no! You can't because this bit here. See? Is it see too it high to sort of You'll see, get yeah, a you, seed you have up? To throw it across. No, 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 you can just, if you put one seat on the lowest bit of the ledge, basically, right, still on the ledge, but like the lowest part of it, you put one seat there, and then you use that as a propeller to throw it all the way, to throw the seat all the way up to the top, so you don't have to actually carry seats or throw seats across any of the gaps. Alright, one sec. Give me, let me just, okay, I'm gonna give that a go in a sec, if I can just fucking, this is, <laughs> this I mean, you'd be just... better off doing that from the ground floor anyway, if you're gonna throw it over there anyway, you might as well do that from the, from the bottom. Oh, so you're saying doing it from here? Well, Ready. if you're gonna try that route, if you're gonna, no, you're right, yeah, this, if you this do, this'll work, this'll work, you're right, you're right. The bird will work. The bird will work. Will work. Okay. Like you just good. take the seed from from up on the ledge and just uh, and just throw it up from. Okay. So just to be clear, there. you cannot throw this one across here. It will not. It will not make it. Right. That's. I don't. I don't know what. Wow. Well, I'm. I'm probably not at where you are right now in in seeing this. Okay. You sh yeah, but you should definitely throw it from the ground, though, if you're gonna try and get it up that ledge, because there's there's literally no use in trying to throw it across from the ledge. Yeah, no, you're right. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. This. Is... <laughs> it bounced up back Fuck. to the other. I think you need to then uh, put the propeller a bit further away from. Yeah. Yeah there so that it doesn't bounce up on it onto too much i got it oh wow i overshot it there is so much spe specificity oh whatever that's the word. <laughs> like it is so specific how to, how to actually do this it's actually ridiculous but the thing is can't you get a seed up on the second on the first bit of the ledge no yes but you have to Just there's like another carrying? jump there's another jump you, yeah but you don't need to if you put you, one seed on because that's how I always did it. If you carry one seat onto the first ledge and then carry the second seat up there and use that ledge as sort of a higher vantage point to get it all the way up the top. Oh, fuck. Oh, you got the... Oh, there's another one. <laughs> so it doesn't work this way anyway. I'm just fucking doing something wrong, I swear. I must be doing something wrong. Ca carry a seat all the way to the beginning of these ledges. Okay, I will just... One second, if I can't make this job. I just can't believe I'm forgetting what it is. And it could be... Or, yeah, up. or you can just do the same thing as you did now and just do it from the next gap, as a super world jumper is saying. I mean, if you're going to use this method, then you okay. could do the same thing as you did just now, except with the, uh, the next gap, if that's not too high. Okay. Love how this is like now. Completely. See, you can't actually do this without concentrating on it or something. 
Fuck. <laughs> so close. I don't think you can do it. I mean, this is just wasting time trying to do it from the plant. Yeah, okay, I've stopped with the plant now. Uh, like, you can do the same thing as you d did just now, except for the next gap. But you could also just carry a seed onto the ledge. Yeah, because you can put a seed... You can put a seed down onto that ledge and then... Um, what's it called? Oh, then uh, I think I get what you're saying now. I think I finally get it. You put a seed on the first of the ledge and then you use... And then the other seed as well, and then you use one of them as a propeller to get it all the way to the top. You don't have to actually get them over any gaps, I don't think. <clears throat> right, you are. Right, you are. Yeah. It's still going to be annoying to angle them, though, but yeah. Yes, I might do it a bit further back. Okay. From where I'm seeing it now, you're putting it down to like one of the gaps again, between one of the gaps, and maybe I'm. No, no, I've got it now. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Okay, so it's right here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is the correct way of doing it, I believe. Super berry. Uh, what, which is worse to complete the stage, the tree, or the flying level? Says Willis Grayman. Um, I fucking love the tree. Yeah, I love the tree because of that difficulty. This is like a difficulty that's sort of a bit more on the annoying tedious. side. Yeah, a bit tedious. I still, I still like the level. I like what they're trying to do. I just don't think it's as good as. Um, as, it's just, it's got to be a good day, so to speak. You know, it's got to, you got to be lucky. Yeah, I think you want to place the propeller a bit higher than that, just on yeah. the, on the end of the. Yeah. Just as high as possible, pretty much, almost. Okay, there we go. We got that one, and then <laughs> bouncing off each other. Okay. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. This must be very confusing to watch footage that's sort of like, like sort of. Fuck. The sort of delay, like I'm talking about stuff and you're like, what are you, what are you talking about? Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yeah, boy. Really? Yeah, motherfucker. Eat yeah, shit. see, this is the way that you had to get it up there, yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah. and that, and that always, like, this is, when I think about this level, this is the thing that pops into my mind straight away is like that bit where you have to uh, yeah you have to use the one seed and the other seed and and like how that i think i was just it's like been imprinted in my mind because i've just stared at it for like yeah. 10 minutes at a time if not longer uh yeah the tree level was um oh rm0505 hated the city levels i love the city levels the soundtrack to those is fucking yeah, amazing. The sound. Oh. <laughs> it's got that like Cuban Latin y vibe. <laughs> it's got that, yeah, that real. It's like really fucking jazzy sort of. Yeah, it's just sick. I mean, you know, and same, yeah, same with Toy Story pop. 2 as that same sort of thing. Yeah, that sort of Latin sound. And then you get the piano, Latin piano. And then you've got the, um, and then you've got the awesomeness that is the Toy Story 2 soundtrack. And I mean, guys, we're, we're cooking with gas here with, with the soundtracks. That's for sure. Cooking with propane. Propane memories, all right. The N64 soundtrack is bad. Yeah, now, wasn't it you, Blowskill, that did I swear it was one of you or someone else that did like an LP I, I think, uh, of that. Um, do you want to Google? Do you want to Google that, Johnny? Like, check Blowskill's channel. I know it's right in front of him, but just in, just Google that, like Blowskill Bugs Life. I believe it was him. Um, who did who did like a walkthrough of it? I hope it was. If I'm if I'm wrong, I'm an idiot. Uh, this is weird. I think he just names his parts. In an interesting okay. way. The Vigilant Christian says this game is stat satanic because it's Disney. Isn't that's not the real Vigilant Christian, is it? What's the fuck troll, blow man? skill? He's got some weird ass fucking videos. Like so <laughs> I'm on his channel, right? And it's like a bugs promo. Um a bugs hangover. A bugs unexpected gameplay change. A bugs technically gliding rather than flying. Like and then, but they're not even gameplay footage. They're like... It's bloody blast 
They're like real life footage, that, like of possibly him if he's like he wears glasses and and a cardigan. Cool. <laughs> Fuck, I, I think it's from might be 2011. Gala. Shit, one. Fuck, I can't remember where the last fucking like eight enemies are. Nine enemies. I actually cannot remember where they are. That's a fair few. It's definitely. I've already been through here, so it's not there. Where the fuck? Ah, oh, this is bullshit. I've been here for fucking eight. I'm so. I'm so glad that there's 46 people watching. Um, thank you guys. We continued support through this. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, Dave low, low skill. Uh, he says his friend did the titles and he made a promo for it. I thought all the videos were like, you know, live action as opposed to gameplay. <laughs> Just looking okay. at the titles. Yeah, I... um, what's everyone's favorite Pixar film? It's, for me, it's... I don't really... Yeah, I wasn't as much a fan of Pixar as I was of Disney. I like the musicals. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Broadway fag. Uh, <laughs> But I, I guess I liked Bugs Life the best, but mostly because of the game. I mean, yeah, I just didn't have too much of a connection to... I actually... Oh no, that's not fucking Pixar, that, that was DreamWorks, Monsters, what was? Inc. No, Monsters, Inc. was Pixar. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, H. Then Dales. Maybe that's my favorite, I don't know. Yeah, Ratatouille, I love that one, Aaron. Yeah, it's a, it's a classic. I think I was sort of, I think that was too late for me or something, like I was too old or something. Yeah. Like I was, I was already sort of... You're never too old for Pixar. Yeah, I don't know, like, maybe as a kid I would have found it more interesting, like... Yeah, I mean, I would still be, like, I still find, like, the Disney films and all that interesting. Like, yeah, I guess I really... Never the Pixar films. I saw most of them, but they really didn't do much for me at all, uh, including The Incredibles. Ooh, yeah, I, and, I mean, incredible. I f I feel like a lot of it was just a, a lot of sort of. It looked good and it had a lot of action and everything. It was pretty slick and everything, but it didn't have much of sort of a soul or a lasting impact on. The I don't know. I would dis completely disagree with soul. Um, I think they had. A, I think it had a lot of soul. I think. I think. It taught making it about the technology. I think that was just that was just their method of of distribution, so to speak. I, I don't oh no, I'm not like I don't have anything against them doing that, but that's like that's all that 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 I was really getting from it. And it's even worse with stuff like Despicable Me and everything. Those are that's, like yeah. literally some of the worst movies I've ever seen. Um, and but yeah, but just with like I actually kind of liked. Um, what was the other fucking one? Not Despicable Me, but like with this other sort of this sort of villain dude. I think oh, it was Mega Mind. Yeah, that one was a lot better. I felt like I, I like Mega Mind actually. I, I yeah, I thought that was cool. Uh, that one was pretty f fun, you know, as sort of wrong. But uh, but Despicable Me, I actually thought was fucking terrible. Um, yeah. And it's sort of. It's sort of a piece to get, and then with some, you know, with some sort of tear jerking thrown in that they do a lot, you know, like try to uh, give the children sort of a cry, cry backstory and make the make the villain sort of become sort of a good dude or something, even though he does. But then, really, with no real sort of any eh, any real content to it or something. Oh, Despicable Me is utter garbage, says Death Rider. Yeah. Oh, well. Someone uh, agrees with... Super World Jumper says the game does an extremely... judge its job extremely well of making you feel like an ant in a huge world. It's decent and there's plenty to explore. Be definitely better than most movie games. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That is one of the ma major reasons why it is so good. Cool. Yeah, because you do the feel big... like an ant. Absolutely. Yeah, and the big thing about... Uh the gameplay is, is the uh, the creativity of it that you get to sort of employ yourself that you you it's so open ended this, they sort of came up with a thing w with a with a uh, 
you know, with a system, a general system, but then they sort of the way that you use it, they kind of leave it up to you. So there's like a lot of different ways of doing things and you sort of really have to figure it out yourself. It's like a sort of a weird modular system with the seeds where you can sort of combine them in different ways to sort of do different things. Um, and that just always, yeah, made this game just really addictive and sort of uh, easy to sort of get into. I'm trying to find easy the to, last easy to learn from my enemy. Yeah, enemy. Yeah. Is it one of the worms in the? the remember, there was yeah, also one. Yeah, I know. You said you worm. said that you missed. You said that you thought you thought you missed. I missed it, but I I I think I've gone to that area now. So. Yeah, I think you got that one again. But like, there's also one that pops out of the wall when you climb up. Yeah, on I think the ledge. I got that one. I got that one. Okay, you got that one. Well. Wow. I might just try one with <laughs> Or did R. Yeah, the draw distance for this doesn't help too much. I should do like a, a PC version, let's play, and sort of try and compare it a yeah. bit. I think, I mean, it was bad in the PC version as well, but there's, there were some differences graphically. There's so no enemy in here, come on. Why wouldn't everyone hiding here? That's shite. Oh no, god, I'm, just I'm, I'm so chat. close to game. I'm an idiot as well. I really should be using this method here. Hey, the shield. <laughs> oh, we got 50 people watching now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There oh, you go. Frozen. I, ugh, I don't really like that. It's sort of a shame that Frozen is sort of the thing that little girls had have as their sort of film nowadays as opposed to some of the older Disney films if, yeah. you, if you ask me yeah I can, I can like because I really disliked pretty much all of the characters in it like I, I thought the film was like it was watchable and it had like I think the snow dude had some funny moments but um, yeah overall I really didn't like any of the characters and that like and I mean as examples for yeah little girls as they talked about it you know they're probably the worst like they were like the most fucking la cunt type uh, type uh, girls uh out there. and then the, yeah that's let it go i couldn't have any fucking sympathy for any for them really. well i mean i mean it's like it's like a classic disney like it's like that not disney but it's like that classic like storytelling plot where it's like this girl meets a guy and instantly wants to marry him <laughs> Which I sort of thought's a little bit like, eh, you know. But that's the thing. That's not not even the case with most. Well, okay, let me think. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not the case for at least half of the <laughs> '90s Disney films, anyway. Like Hercules, she's like only halfway through the film. She's like, and she sings the song like, you know, I won't say I'm in love or something. I wanna fuck a hunk. <laughs> no, but like, you know, where she's like, ah, uh, she's like, just starting to realize that she's actually kind of into him but she's actually supposed to be you know fucking him over because that's what she was that's what she was uh, employed for so to speak uh, what was the name again leave a comment in the chat yes. about what the name of the, of the female character in Hercules that's such a good film as well I'm sure Her name was um, yes. I don't think Tangled was terrible by the way no, Tangled had some good music. I've in never it as seen well. Tangled. I, I want to watch that one. Definitely. I think it's definitely worth a watch. Um, Have you seen Wreck-It Ralph? I never saw that one either. No, I haven't seen that. That really didn't speak to me at all. Video game. I mean, I, I think I'd like it. I heard it did pretty well. Um, like in terms of depicting, um, I don't even know what, what it was depicting. All right. Yeah, lo like so. And um, what Video was games. the other one? Uh, Video. No, the, uh, there was another one where, where it wasn't at all, where the Disney, where, where she wasn't at all, let me just go by that, like Aladdin, I guess, eh, she wasn't like, I mean, in Aladdin, he wasn't the prince at all, and she wasn't at all like, you know, she was kind of being a bit hard to get as well, and um, uh, what came after that, I don't fucking know anymore. Aladdin, what the fuck am I? Oh, Beauty and the Beast. She wasn't fucking. Oh, I want to marry this guy straight from the start. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I um, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty know, and the Beast, he, like that character. She's she's like a she's a. 
pretty exemplary character for girls, I think. Like, she's like... Yeah, like, she resisted. She resisted, you know, initially. Um... <laughs> well, I wouldn't say resist. It's not like the beast forced himself upon her. Like, that didn't... Like, but it's more like she sort of, you know, she was like a, a very sort of exemplary lady, sort of educated and not not at all in any way, like, skanky or anything, which I feel like a lot of the... I feel like in Frozen there was more of that, uh, that air of sort of, like, huh, let's, you know, play play games with this guy and sort of be flirtatious and everything in, in sort yeah, of a... Yeah. An, L A E way or something. <laughs> I was late. To that. Not New York. Uh, way. L A way. No. I yeah. No. Uh, New York is just as bad. But I think it's just the voices. That's. Sort of Artie Lang. You know, he, he loves. I don't know. Maybe Lang. Artie Lang. Lang. Artie Lang. That is like a New York comedian. I was just like, man. Matches the movie. Who's that? By him. Uh, if, you, if you look him up, you would know him. He's like a L A comedian. Comedian. Oh, not LA, sorry, New, New York. A comedian. Death to Puppets. Yeah, MLP this, this is a right. great level. I fucking love this boss, actually. This this the bird boss. We finally get to take on this mother, mother effort. Let me tell you. It's so Super much fun. Super World Jumper is saying, remember when getting movie clips was so cool. I yes, know, that know. was that was the way I fucking... That was the way I saw the movie, pretty much, to begin with. I, I played this game before I saw the movie, and I collected all the movie clips, and it was like, I was watching the film as I was <laughs> playing through it. Same and thing with so awesome Monster yeah. Zing. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then it, it was really cool to actually, like, I finally actually rented the movie. And, yeah, like, oh my god, I've seen that scene. Yeah, it was cool to sort of see bits of it back, and but... Yeah, like, you know, it's not like the game did a, like, I didn't actually see the movie through the game, you know, like, it didn't do that good a job at, uh, like, it was pretty different when I actually finally watched the film, but, um, but still, I remember sort of being slightly underwhelmed when I saw the film, like, it was cool, like, I saw it multiple times, I definitely really liked the film, but, um, it wasn't as good as the game to me. I, as fun as the game. I yeah, yeah, like. yeah. Because the game, the game felt like it was. Um, yeah, it puts you in it, there. It puts you, know? you in. It put, it's exactly what a movie game needs to do, and most of them cannot do. Basically. Yes. It, it achieved that. Hey, the Australian gamer yeah. donated a dollar. Thank you, Australian gamer. I know we haven't uh, talked about uh, in donations. We <laughs> haven't brought up the D word. The D word. The uh, the, the new yes. naughty word. Thank you, thank you, Cameron. Uh, Alright, uh, okay. Cameron. <laughs> Look, guys, the Australian guys. game. No, no, it's a uh, orangutan no. game, guides. <laughs> guides, Australian game, guides. Guess what sucks today? You, my cock. <laughs> no one was doing it. No, it's okay. You, you, my, my policy is uh, donate if you will, you know, but uh, don't donate if you don't have the money. I don't want you. I don't want anyone Feel going. Like I don't want anyone going poor. You know, we, we can't have anyone going poor because of me. It's too late. I'm already poor. <laughs> yeah, d donate to John. You know. <coughs> from all I've chat. given you, I'm poor from like attention, poor in attention. How the fuck? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Oh, there's Brace. a brony argument going on. Right. Yeah, boy. It was bronies. only. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna ban all the bronies now. <laughs> Makes you one of our first conversations we ever had in 2013 was about bronies. Actually. Shit. Yeah, it was the first recording session we ever had. Yeah. yeah. It was, uh, oh, actually, it was yeah. Like we because. We ended up talking for an hour before we actually started recording it. Yeah. Yeah. It well, like, it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bunch about about bro, bronies or something, or at least MLP. It was, it was more. I think it was more of a statement on the fandom more than it was the actual show. I mean, I I haven't seen enough of MLP to really judge. Um, well, more the um, hmm, the sort of uh, absurdity of the fandom, I suppose, in, in a way where it. it 
it doesn't seem to be about the show itself as much as just people wanting to belong to a community, so to speak. Oh, right, you've got to get the bird. There we go, Got to get the bird down. Get the bird. Fuck yeah. And then, but it doesn't kill it, does it, when you have the gold berry? Like, it's sort no, of no, a no. weird have a look, have system a that it... Yeah, it's like a weird system that it integrates where if you have the gold berry, then it makes sure that it doesn't actually kill it with those seeds. But if you don't have the gold berry, it, it will actually kill it, I believe. Because yeah, I've that... killed the bird without the gold berry. Cool. Um, Ian 2K7 oh. says, do you have posters of neckbeards on your wall? Um, I do have a poster of... Uh... Uh, what's his Restless. name? Kazuma Kiryu, who is um, the main character hey, of Yakuza beard. series. He doesn't have a neck beard. I don't oh, think he gets a Yakuza. Beard. Yakuza. 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 It's, it's Yakuza. just that a, a small minority in the community makes the entire fandom seem cancerous, they're saying. Uh, I, 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 I can... Give, I can agree with. That. I don't think I don't even think there's anything that seems cancerous to me about the community. It's just a, an absurd thing. Like I, I don't even I, I I don't think I've ever encountered anything cancerous about bronies, um, or toxic or anything. It's just like it, it just seems really weird to me to be such a fan of this kid show that really doesn't have a lot going for it. If you ask me, and like I feel like a lot of the fans are just there for yeah the community aspect of it um i think i mean you know whether i don't i don't, I don't have an opinion on the show i simply have just haven't seen any, really any of it um the worst adrianos cardis i don't know and andrianos cardis says uh is he is he yeah uh, he might be uh, kind, of, kind of reminds me he kind of no, like, seems greek I, but it probably isn't uh, yeah i was gonna say it's probably greekish or something um, the worst fan base he's ever seen is Sonic fanfic. Oh, so, so, yeah, 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 Sonic true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris, got any Chris Chan fans in there, boys? Sonic Chan. Holy shit, Sonic. Like, I, I, I haven't even heard of that, but yeah, I can just... Oh, I think someone was bringing Chris up... Chan, Chris Chan is, is... Oh, no, not Chris Chan. Uh, the Sonic. Sonic whatever they said again. Well, he, Sonic, Sonic. he is just a gigantic Sonic fan. That's how he got his fame, basically. It was being uh -huh. a Sonic fan. Well, artist, okay, I'll yeah, I'll like I'll amend this statement and say that I've heard of him, but not anything like in terms of not any content of yeah, his character. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. heard the name, Chris Chan, uh, Chris, Christian Chandler, or now he actually goes by the name Christine. I believe he is now. Uh, oh no! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Another trend. That, that's not what I have to say. Don't well, there's that. a lot of that going on in the sort of deviant art type communities as well, you know. Sort of. Yeah. It's a, it's a type of people that um, doesn't seem to get a lot of uh, real life social contact, and then they sort of get into these communities where then I don't know. I don't know. I feel like like with Ratchet, right? With Ratchet Five, <laughs> it was like he was he was really lacking. Uh, he was lacking uh, romantic attention, I guess. Um, and I don't know if I'm like gossiping now or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you keep going, keep going. I'm interested in where this. But is he going. wanted to. He wanted to feel pretty. Is what it led to, basically. Right. And so, like, he wanted to turn into a girl because he thought that, like, in doing that. He'd actually become sort of an, you know, an object of lust to some people because he thought only girls could be pretty, and so he had to be girl. And that, like, that's the weird, hypocritical thing or like ironic thing as well about a lot of sort of transgender community type uh, people is that they um, they hate gender roles and they hate like society like, you know, treating women differently or like or stuff like that but then they place so much fucking emphasis on gender roles apparently that they need to convert themselves into a woman because apparently they can't just live their life with a cock and balls and just be the person that they are they right, have so you're, to actually so you're, so you're, you're putting you're putting you're essentially saying that 
the 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 actual the gender itself isn't really who someone that's, is no it, it, yeah. exactly that's okay. not a define it, i don't think that gender is a defining factor at all and i'm all for like equality in in that respect and and a lot of people uh, think that as well but then they they still weirdly enough then want to turn themselves into women and and like be like oh you know we, we should also be equal and, and stuff like that again like i think obviously trans people should also be equal yeah i course. do think there's a i don't think it's a healthy thing it's I think a hard it's, completely it's, a hard, different. it's a hard topic because it's it like, it's it's, it's the, basically because it's not like it, it shouldn't at all exactly if you're born as a female you are a female as blake jones said i mean that's just i mean because th that's the thing so you're it saying you're saying matter. that you're saying that by from a biological perspective not from yeah like because it doesn't matter like the only thing well, this is just like the one thing that 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 uh the one qualification that you need to be a woman is you know a pair of tits and a minge and to be a man is a cock and balls so to speak or well actually really it's all down to the cr actual chromosomes basically but like I was going to say, there's, there's a, Apart there's a, from there's that, a very... you don't, you don't need to put that much stock in, into it. Like, you can just say like, oh, I'm a male, but okay, maybe I, I'm just, I just have very feminine characteristics. That's fine. You don't have to then turn yourself into, a, into a woman because that's not that important. But I think, so... I think that there's a difference between people that are doing it like that and people that have an actual, um, you know, they've they've felt like they've felt a certain way since they've been, you know, five years yeah. old, and they literally like, you know, like they literally have never ever, you know, there, there are yeah, cases where people a, that's have... a misguided sort of psychological disorder, really, because um, it doesn't that like they felt like they had to be god, but but all of that was based on preconceptions about what girls are and how girls act and everything, and how girls are perceived, you know, because. Yeah, it's sort of ingrained that girls, you know, do this. You know, they play with toys that they, they um, yeah. I, but I think, that are different. I think, that, they, I think they... that sexual identity or or gender identity extends further than than simply like interests and, and gender roles itself. I think I think it's sort of I think like it's how a... like I I don't think there's any sort of well, physiological sense of being a certain gender. To be honest with you, at least. Not, not that you can't get over or, or whatever. Like, I don't think you can be born as a male and actually have, like, completely different wiring that somehow is female. Because in, then that would mean that females and males do think completely differently, which I think is, is very wrong, in, uh, at least in terms of humans. Like, they're so... They've become so conglomerated anyway that that like humans because there's there's as many um masculine females and as many um uh, fem effeminate men as the other way around you know but it's it's just mostly culture really that's sort of still kind of steering men into acting a certain way or, or my 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 point is more so like I'm I'm just gonna say like you know I'm not trying to be like all you know PC but I'm just gonna say that I really don't have enough knowledge to truly dispute you know the idea that people whether people feel like women men you know identify as men women uh, you know or um, you know but uh, what's the word? There's there's more. There's more than one. There's more than two genders. Uh, you know, like whatever the term is. There's like a, there's like another one that people that are both and hermaphrodites and and all that. But hermaphrodite probably isn't the right word, isn't it? There, there is a term for. Well, yeah, that that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a that's that's a biological uh, f fault or like yeah, gender sort of. I guess uh, but my point is, is that I don't really, I don't really care. Like, no, I know if, what you're, if someone's yeah. going, like, if, if you know, if, if someone identifies as trans, well, I think it doesn't really is, affect me. Like, yeah, as in, well, that's as in I'm not going to judge him for it. I guess is the way it I might like. affect. It might affect culture in general, though. Like, it, it is they, they are kind of 
like the mindset of having to uh, sort of you know sort of turn what what could be psychological disorders into something that's completely now has to be seen as the norm and you can't question it at all and etc etc and by the way i also think it's kind of ridiculous that they're now labeled together with lesbian gay uh bisexual because it's a completely different uh issue well it's, issue. i mean i'd be on it's not even beyond an sexuality okay yeah like sexual preference is a completely different thing than sexual identity like that like thinking that you're a male when you're a female or thinking that you're a female when you're a male which you know there's no there's just no two ways about it you're a male if you have male genes and you're a female if you have female genes um and i think sort of and and that's why i'm also you know i'm i think there's nothing this like being gay and stuff like that is not at all i don't at, at all see that as uh you know a psychological disorder or anything you know like that's a completely different it, that's just yeah that's just the thing that's you're into like different people are into different things that's uh, that's completely fine but i i do like that mp carlson said that can we just take a second to realize that a live stream of bugs episode led to an in-depth discussion about gender <laughs> yeah should we i mean uh, i i i'm gonna be honest i personally don't like discussing it because i just i just feel like there's it's just more nuanced than than what we're saying i think or, or, you know, oh but that's fine i'm just i'm just usually i just put a crass point out there and then i'm still open to uh to other arguments and everything but yeah I, I i probably tend to say it in a way where people can easily get offended or whatever but yeah well i guess i guess i i can see where you're coming from but i also like yeah it, it, i just think it it might be societally unhealthy though to to sort of perpetuate the uh the the culture of of and 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 that sort of and that's sort of what what people are having anyway that, that's sort of the issues that people are having anyways that you know with the uh um like that like there's always people waiting in the wings to accuse you for being intolerant and everything right. and there's a lot of people that now they feel like they can't question things but it actually makes the intolerance grow more if you ask me like when you sort of start forcing people more and more to sort of be like hey no this should be okay this is normal this is you can't question this um then they start to put up a front of being like really tolerant people but really they don't really understand it yet because right. people don't want to actually discuss it properly right yeah or like you know make themselves sound like they they're intolerant to something or whatever I and guess... then and then that just leads to them just cropping up these feelings where they actually get more disenfranchised with uh, uh Oh, Tom, Adri Andriano Scala says Tomboy is different to transsexual. That's completely different, yes. I fucking love Tomboys, actually. They're my favorite. Yeah, we, we, we know you like your Tomboy. I was going to say that as um, Octo 90s says, Natalie in Brulia. Um, yeah. Look up, we'll, look we'll up like uh, Olivia Thelby. She's fucking great, too. Just um, check the short hair. But yeah, as, as, as Octo Sheena says, uh, you know, it's fine to disagree with someone, but as long as you don't make someone feel shitty for thinking differently. Yeah, I mean, it comes it comes down to, like, if Johnny was to, like, you know, meet some transgender person and go, well, fuck you, you're an idiot. Like, you know, you're like, I can't believe you're, you're doing this. And yeah, that's absolutely a problem. Um, it's, you know, but... Yeah, it's it's okay to have a different opinion about things as long as that as you know, and and you can you can say it in a certain way. It, it, some things are, it some things are, are difficult to say in a way that may sound uh, acceptable, um, as long as you're just not intentionally trying to be some kind of you know edge lord or something like that. I guess that's what it, what it comes down to. For me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my um, um. Yeah, I I remember though, um, Ratchet. In, for a while was in this and we'll, I'll get off this topic uh, after this um, Ratchet was like um, spending a lot of time in this uni for a bit when he was still when he was still officially living with his parents but I think then they kicked him out or something uh, but in this uni they had like yeah they kicked him out because he brought like a boy back to their house or something which you know that's a terrible thing to do as parents obviously yeah, but um, uh, what's it called um 
So in his uni, they had like these safe spaces and he just hung out in the safe space a lot. And there were just a, a ton of those people, you know, those sort of, yeah, those teens who kind of just needed attention and just were, if anything, you know, they, they preach about intolerance, but then they're actually intolerant to everyone that, you know, they like hate, they hate normies and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Um, and yeah, there was, there was this one girl who, or, or it was a guy who, I think it was a girl who thought she was a guy or something, so to speak. And yeah, and I was just like, because she was in the background and I was just like, you know, like, oh, who's that? Like, uh, like, blah, blah, does she this or that, you know, like I, I refer to her as a girl basically. And and she was like getting so fucking offended and everything, and I just kept going with it. Oh, and and Ratchet was like, Ratchet this is, was this like, is gonna be a drama alert. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ratchet was like, Ratchet was getting all like, you know, flustered and fuck. I was just trolling a bit, you know. And uh, yeah, yeah, that person got pretty pissed off with me. But but the thing is, but can you not Ratchet... see why people would get pissed off though? Even even if you think that even oh, I can see why think... they get pissed off, but they have no reason to. Yeah, but okay. I guess it it comes down to like it comes down to, you know, they so, yeah okay. I I know what you mean. Where you can see like you know if you still feel if you feel like you're a, a woman and someone's calling you a man and stuff like that, you know, I can see where where that is a problem. But I think that there's no there's no need. But it's not. There's no need to. There's no need to. Just sort of stubbornly just... be like, hey, well, I'm gonna call you a man anyway. I think it, it doesn't because it doesn't really have any impact, really, on, on on how you live your life. I guess. Like, so for example, well, like, you no, know, Caitlyn like, Jenner or something like... like that. People, people are like, oh, you know, like they call it, they call a, um, you know, he, and people are like, you know, don't do that, and people get upset when people like. I don't have a problem, even though I don't like Caitlyn Jenner. I don't have a problem saying, you know, she. Like, I don't really get, gain anything by being like, oh, it's a he. You know, like that's that's well, but that's the thing. That's that's where it becomes a slippery slope, though. Um, if you start to validate a lot of things like that, like but, then you, other you, things start to slip in as well. Then that, yeah, but essentially, then because scientifically, just saying... it's not a she. Like, I'm also fine with calling people they, for all I care. You know, like it's not. I don't want to. It's not like I want to be contrarian or like offend people or whatever. But. Um, but the the problem is that if you validate them in it, like if I were to like then validate them in that way, it would be insincere and 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 it would just not be factual to begin with. And then I, I would basically just sort of be perpetuating their misguided uh, psychological thing. Basically, it, it would be like it's like enabling in a weird way. It's like but so, so uh, then, but then but then it becomes a fact that then it means that you said before that you are supportive of like trans people but really you aren't because then you're saying that well actually I'm not supportive I'm, I'm... of I'm not at all supportive of um of validating transsexuality no at no not at all well then I, yeah. I think I think it should be you know this is what people were saying about gay people I I, I understand that but well, that's completely different like and I don't think you know I hate stuff like gay I'm bisexual myself um but like I think it should. I think it's a psychological issue that should be treated. I think people. Uh, I have. A, I think it's a problem with self-image, a sort of a warped self-image that people have, and sort of too much stock put into. And that's why they usually are psychologically kind of messes. A lot of transgender people. But uh, anyway, yeah, and I, I, I realize say, yeah, that I that sounds really intolerant and everything, but, but. You know, you, you, you can't keep skirting around the, the... And I'd love to. That's the thing, right? I, I I wish that it that I could find a valid scientific thing for it. You know what I mean? Like, I wish there was a valid age for it. Because I would love to, to you know, be like, Oh, yes, transsexuality. You know, that's that's a normal, healthy thing and everything. And the, the But the problem is that I don't think it is. So, but but if anyone can convince me otherwise, then please do. Well, I'm sure. <coughs> I'm sure there's. And now uh, I'll, I'll stop talking about it. 
there's yeah i think there's there's as simple as it is i'm all for being educated if if people uh, i'm sure i'm sure there's stuff out there on both on both sides i mean science itself is not a matter of a yes or no question you know and that that's 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 why i that's why i i haven't really said my proper opinion because because i just i just think that there's there's stuff that we need to know stuff that we don't know i mean the human human condition the human yeah body. but if they were or if they were still healthy people in general besides that then i would be much more like that as well I, i'd be fine with that but if you look at caitlin jenner if you look at you know ratchet if you look at a lot of those people they're just not they have problems <laughs> you know okay yeah i mean ratchet ratchet is ratchet is so i feel like it's bad for their own good as well ratchet's not changed but, yeah. it's gender though he's a uh... No, well, he was for a while, though. So. Uh, I guess, yeah. That's another topic uh, entirely. And that's sort of, that's sort of, okay. But then maybe, you know, where is when is someone when is it a phase for someone and when when is it a real thing? You know. So. I'm I'm glad the MP Carlson is enjoying the conversation. It's uh, it's all back. Okay, keeping, one it's all last thing. MP. One. Okay, one last short thing. Fraser is saying, I mean, biologically, a lot of creatures and animals can be hermaphrodites. Some sea creatures switch genders. Some creatures do have no genders. Yeah. Uh, spiders have eight legs. We don't. You know, like, we don't actually switch. I mean, and I, again, I'm not, I hate gender roles as well. Like, I think you shouldn't put so much stock in what gender you have. And I, I, I don't think that you should think differently or feel differently just because you're a woman or just because you're a man um and uh, and so okay you can you can switch gender roles for all i care but it it but then you can't actually physically become a woman when you were born a man i mean that's just the way the way it is that's not not how genetics work and so then you know stop worrying about it because it kind of it kind of makes it look like women are completely different to men anyway if it's so important to switch over to being a woman because apparently women are really different you know but 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 that's not the case right that's why we treat everyone equally women and men are are basically the same except I, for you know, some i will say physical... that even in light of um you know people say this is you know you know a uh, a uh, controversial topic we have floated at about 49 people this entire time so it seems like people people are, are yeah I'm, I'm i I'm sorry like every time you know someone brings up a point i you know i have some uh, uh i have something that i feel like we could say about that but yeah i i think we need opie you know we need opie to go hold on hold on hold on uh we got the next topic you know yeah, yeah, yeah. we can't we can't yeah, keep I, first. I'm, I'm no, I'm no OP. We can always I, return I have, to this. I don't have man boobs. We can always return to 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 topics, but I don't, I don't think, yeah, I don't think we should keep going on about it the for that long I can't anymore. Fucking find these. Yeah. Like, this is a classic. Have you example. made a sea disappear again? I reckon it's, it's got to be. I mean, I don't, I don't see. I remember, I remember seeing your retrospective uh, bit the the last time. Uh, yeah, Willis Grayman is saying you. You've permanently lost some grain. Uh, I did. I did see you sort of did, walking away a few did, times. Did you? When... Did you? Did you? Um, uh, Willis. I didn't. Where? Where? Myself. Where did that happen? Well, like, at what session did that happen? And this is why this is such a stupid fucking idea to, to give enemies grain because. It, you it, keep saying that, but I don't really think it's that big a problem. I, I kind of like the mechanic as long as you keep sort of again. Yeah, you have to kind of pay attention once you get the gold seed. Um. But yeah, I remember, though, in the retrospective, for a long time, you were saying, oh, yeah, I think it's happened, you know, you were sort of scanning the level and, you know, saying, oh, I've lost a fucking seed, and that, you were kind of already lambasting the game, but then it turned out you just had, you just left an enemy just alive still, so. No, I've definitely got an enemy, I've definitely um, killed all the enemies, so now it's just a matter of, hmm. Dr. Moguri says, Oh my fucking god, this game is my childhood. I don't have Sounds like someone's just, just joined in. <laughs> you've missed the uh, you've missed the the drama then. No? Who's uh, your who joined? Uh Dr. Dr. Moguri. Dr. Doctor, doctor. 
But give me the news I gotta. There's so many game uh, games, so many songs that have the lyric "Doctor, Doctor." <laughs> doctor. Oh, I think I know where they are. I think I might know where they are. Please, please, Christ, be up here. <laughs> Christ, be Jesus up here. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, please be up here. Jesus. Fuck you. They're not up here. Hey, dude. Um. Oh, be What's careful. What's going on? Oh shit. Fuck this shit. The fuck was that? Doctor, 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 doctor. Give me pills or give me love. Fuck. Da, da, da. You're There's the only no one who no cares. There's no love right now. You really Fucking listen to me? Fucking shit, where the f Um... You know that uh, group? Does anyone know the bird and the bee? They're pretty obscure, actually, I think. The birds and the bees and the... It's another kind of tomboyish girl, you know, the short-haired girl with, like, it's kind of like the old-school uh, duo, one like synth guy and like one, uh, no, one like synth guy slash producer and and a girl singer who also writes the lyrics. Um. Damn. Doctor, 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 doctor. Okay, I think I think I'm going to go through. I think I'm going to um, go through a sex change. Plan. I think I'm Transition. going to exit the level even without it being completed. I might, you know, if it's an excuse to come back to this level later, maybe I will do that. But I think, um, I think I'm going to exit the level because, yeah, it'd be easier that way um, to just start it again and just be really, really meticulous. Oh, are you sure the? Uh, are you sure it? You're not going to be able to find it. Well, let me just. Did someone? Did someone see Fissure leaving a grain permanently? Someone did. Uh, Willis Grayman did, but all right. Let me let me lay down the save. Yeah, okay, there's this. Uh, actually, speaking of the bird and the bee, uh, they did did this video that was directed by Eric Wareheim and probably <laughs> Tim Heidecker as well. You, you know, Tim and Eric, basically. The like they're always all, the all these obscure sort of indie heat. bands. They're always mm, uh, friends with pie. comedians. Yeah, they love it. Check out that I posted the clip in the comments. I actually really need a piss, so go, go, go. But can you handle I shall be back. Can we? If you need help handling a crowd, our troop here I'm still live. I'm probably gonna head off pretty soon. Um, maybe do should do on my level. Probably looks like I'm crying asleep right there because my eyes are roughly not. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. It's 4 p.m. here in Essex. Oh, Essex, cool. What is sleep? Yeah, good question, shots. City Square. Let's look at that. Look at that joke. I can't believe I didn't. So every other level, doing fine. Not that one. Hmm, you know what? Let's do the training one because we're absolute mad lads. All right, we're absolute. I said I wasn't going to do it in the first part, and now we're going to do it because why not? Yeah. Let's just get it done. Well, hello there. Fish. Listen to this guy. I learned a long time ago that the ants. Four o'clock. Yeah, I know. That's right. That's, that's the Brit time. Berry throw. That's the Brit time. The I think everyone in Britain, everyone in the British Isles. Now, flick. There are a lot yeah, of places to See how quick we can do this level really but quick. you can't run anywhere you want, willy boom, nilly. Boom. Okay, cool. yep, see, easy. Now, when faced with a less than cooperative first. Done. Pick, Pick up the seed. Look at that, boom. This Absolute is embedded in the domination, you see this? It's how you do it. Quick, fast, and to the point. Chips, Just like the stream. Sleep, what is sleep? Yeah, everyone's it's, uh, it's late at 1 a.m. for, for uh, Death Rider to go. Yeah, that's right, that makes sense. Okay, pick up one of them. Listen to this guy, he's just rambling. He's literally just rambling. Like, you can't, you can't hear him right now, I'm guessing. But, yeah. Okay, get the bonus levels too. Yeah, you're right, okay, I could do the bonus level. I did that in the, that original the first stream I did. By the way, for everyone, now, I know that 47 of you are here right now. I'm guessing that 42 of you at least are wondering about the NC Trilogy. And don't worry, when I uh, get work, when I'm not be, I won't be working next week uh, from the office, so I'll be able to record a lot more. So don't worry, NC Trilogy is coming back, buddies. Don't worry. I'm going to do like one part a day 
I'm going to do like a bulk recording sesh and don't worry, there's going to be plenty of insane trilogy stuff. So don't just think I'm just going to be streaming from now on, even though I'd freaking love to just do that and even with insane trilogy and stuff. But yeah, um, yeah, Johnny will be back very, very shortly. He's um, controversial, controversial. You know, it's, uh, the best berry you get what you get with Johnny. Gold. You may not agree with him. I mean, I, I don't even know. I don't even gold I, and your enemies will trouble I think you I, I think I disagree to, uh, to, a, to a pretty significant extent. It's just, I just, I'm more just on the side of like, almost like agnosticism where it's just like, I just don't know, you know, like I just, I don't know all the details about everything. Um, but I do know the details about this damn level and we're going to, all right. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna we're gonna get to the secret level. It's basically just a bunch of butt bouncing like that. That's the training level. Uh, yeah, it's just it's all it's all a butt bouncing game. That's, that's that's what it's about. Boom, and we're there. Done. Bonus. So yeah. We're doing this bonus level, then we're getting out of here, and then I reckon we'll wrap up the stream. We'll do the next, uh, we'll do the next level, um, oh, yeah. next week or something like that. We'll see. Then we're gonna do Spyro. Um, yeah, we're gonna do Spyro soon as well. Oh, we're gonna do of, Spyro. A lot of fun. Uh, but it's been good. It's been good. It's uh, I've really done good. Most of the game. Well, not Did you end up half, completing half. the city level? I can I completed it, but I haven't completed 100%. So I will come back. Uh, there. It'll be like the last level I do after I like 100%, almost 100% the game. <laughs> are you gonna go back to like yeah after after you finish? Yeah, I'll go. I'll like go like I'll go back there before like the last three levels or something like that. Um, okay, so do I want to save? I do. Mm, the fucking. The music in this bonus levels, uh, in these bonus levels, is great. It's the same as the credits music. I didn't hear it at all. Did you hear it? I didn't even hear it at all. Oh, I didn't have the audio on. Yeah, as I, was I yeah, remember I, that. I, I didn't hear any audio, which is weird. Don't you remember when we did the backtracking? Basically, when we did the bonus levels at the yeah, end yeah, of the yeah, it's retrospect. Got that awesome track. Yeah, yeah, it's a great track. It's a great track. I just didn't hear it for some reason. Yeah, like. Uh, <laughs> I don't fucking remember. Oh, um, Xander Marshy says said. I like John. Marshy. Uh, Marsh Marshy, holy shit. Marshy. The um the the, the uh, speed run the uh, yes uh, yeah I yeah I'm no I don't even know what happened. But um we'll do it. Don't worry Marshy, we're not as we're not as toxic as the uh, SpongeBob speedrunning community. <laughs> SpongeBob speedrunning community? Yeah, did you know that exists? Marshy apparently uh, spent some time with them as well, and they were really bad. Apparently. Oh my god. Oh, look, bonus cut. Are we gonna get sued for this or this? Oh, we some, some cuts. <laughs> sued. No, it's just gonna, they're gonna yank the stream offline while you play it. Xander says, I like Johnny. Yeah, good on you, Xander. Oh. Good on you, Xander. Who said they didn't like me then? <laughs> Blake Everyone Jones says, else. Talk sense. Oh, was that about me, though? I think so, yeah. MP Skylson says, I haven't watched any of your Insane Trilogy yet. I haven't watched any LP of Crash 2 or 3 until I play it myself. Unless you haven't played Crash 2 yet. That's interesting. Or 3. That'll be, that'll be fun. The, like the original? Or yeah, I'm guessing the so. Insane yeah. Trilogy? Oh, um, no, no, surely not. No, surely it's both original. Surely not. See, how cool is this, right? You can actually change the controls. Yeah? Can you actually properly change buttons? Yeah. Jeez. That's awesome. The clips are better than VHS quality, <laughs> says uh, Andrianos. Oh, this is cool. We're, we're, we're getting some, we're getting like a regular community here of people, a regular it's fan great. base. Don't worry, we'll, we'll be. I uh, if yeah, I wanted to it, seems like, it seems like for non Spyro stuff, it's around like 40, 50, and for Spyro stuff, it's around double. So I wonder what it'll be for Crash as well. So, mm. you know, that's good. Anything above, as I say, anything above like 5 to 10 is good for me, so I'm happy. Is the frame rate... By the way, NPC Carlson says he uh, he meant the Insane Trilogy version. Oh, of course. Oh, and Shot says I'm a beast as well. Okay, like, I'm not going to... I'll not... I'll not read... Actually, I should say I, I will... I read all the compliments, but I, I... 
I won't read them all. I have to, I'll keep, I won't keep them reading them all. It's probably not necessary anyway. But like, uh, yeah, I'll read all the hate. So leave hate comments and you'll get on the stream. But um, so the frame rate on the N64 version, is that uh, a lot worse, uh, low skill? It must be. That's N64, weird. N64, guys. It's, it's PS1 Does that have a different frame rate to PS2? I, I always thought it was like PAL as well. Slash NTSC. I mean, it could be it could be a bit like you know, like it's advertised as a frame rate, but then there's you know errors, you know, that it's it's a poorly coded game, you know, but like Enter the Dragonfly with its frame rate issues. Uh, yeah, didn't um, I think Conker's Bad Fur Day might have had frame rate issues as well, Conker's Bad which Day, is yeah. an N N64 game. That's a really. I guess you have to play the Xbox version then. Am I right? Oh yeah. Th that's a, that's like one of the earliest remakes, yep. sort of remasters, remakes that they ever did of, of a, a platformer, a, a, a 3D platformer. Yeah, that was like, and it wasn't even that far apart. It was like in 2001, and then they did the Xbox version in 2006 or something. That's right. I wonder how that difference stacks up actually because that was really unnecessary if you ask me because Conker's Bad Fur Day looked more than good enough on N64. Yeah, yeah. And that one of the big criticisms of the of the new version was the graphics. Now by the way just real quick I'm, what I'm trying to do is I believe you can get a bonus level in here by um, not getting hit which I'm really failing at and like killing five um, killing five of these. I, for some reason I remember that. Could be wrong. Am I right about that? Am I wrong or am I right? What are you? G oh, you have to jump on three. I remember doing this in the retrospective as well. And we were watching a let's play as you were playing this, to sort of see how we had to do it. Why do I? Yeah, it's like why do I feel like yeah you have to do this basically. And we were like we were scrolling through the let's play like going like, where is he actually doing it? Like how the fuck? Because we had no idea how he actually had to do the, uh, the, uh, bonus level. Uh, Blowskill saying. Uh, Yes, it really is. The frame rate's bad, apparently, on the N64. It goes below 10 FPS sometimes. Below 10? Jeez. And Conker did have frame rate issues, but he still loves that game. Yeah, I love that game too. It's really weird. It's like... I think that was 2001? It's one of the last games for uh, N64, um, isn't it? Actually, yeah, just someone said, uh, yeah, Death Rider was talking about, um, you know, good idea. Oh, like, that's a remedy. Conker. Um, I oh, I thought you meant some N64 games on stream. I thought together. you meant, I thought you meant the game Death Ride. I feel like that's a game, but it might have been called something else. Uh, yeah, maybe because that that's like a weird racing combat game by the same people who did uh, Max Payne, and it's pretty cool. What's the game called? Sorry. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Something with death, but maybe that's maybe I'm tr maybe I'm thinking of Death Proof, the like car. Well, it's not really a car combat movie, but like it, it involves like it. you know wheeling car crashes. Oh, like deliberate car crashes, I should say. Uh, the Tarantino film. Um, okay. Remedy Remedy Interactive. Three. That's three. Okay, that I, think, I, think, I think I figured out how you have to do it. You've got to, you've got to hit the enemies without like missing. You have to every single hit has to count, and you have to not get hit. I believe, which I think I fucked up just then. No, yeah. no I have one more to go. Death Rally is what Death it's called. Death Rally. Okay. It's like Lego Stunt Rally and Death. Yeah, boys. Superworld yeah. Jumper despises 120 frame rate. Looks like it. they're always oh, moving. The music, the music, yeah. Wow, there's there's a lot of people who like it though. Maybe maybe the engine. It depends on the game. That I you think, like, yeah, I was gonna say maybe the engine like couldn't handle uh, 120 FPS properly, where uh, it would like fuck with the animation and stuff like that. Some games aren't meant to run at that. Uh, True. At that speed, so to speak. Oh, here's the music. No, oh, it's so good. Ah, yes. 
And it has that counter map that very... There's, there's some weird sort of South American influence here, I feel like. Didn't you say like South African at one point as well? But like, like the... the um... Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, especially Clover Forest has a, a very South African jivey soundtrack. It's fucking awesome. It's like one of my favorites. Yeah, like... I guess the... There's a... I really like when they sort of blend archetype, archetypal, archetypical sort of mm, styles from like world styles, but still, still, um, but, but, but yeah, and blending different ones, not just going with one sort of cliched style, so to speak, through, through the whole thing. It's like, but that's sort of a thing that Paul Simon kind of initiated with the South. I know that sort of uh, Peter Gabriel did African music, you know, with African musicians earlier than Paul Simon, but his was much more moody and stuff like that. Um, but that sort of jivey, jazzy stuff. Yeah, I love that. Uh, with, with some rock and roll and then, yeah, with African stuff mixed in, that sort of Paul Simon kind of started that up a bit, uh, at least the westernization of it. But then, uh, yeah, a lot of people took over that style, especially in the 90s with the Romplers, because they got, you had, you know, you had these digital, basically these digital synthesizers or like sampling machines that that they could put in the samples of, of recorded African instruments. So you had a lot of uh, uh, marimbas and stuff like that. So games used a ton of marimbas and, yeah. and, and, yeah, cool. and sort of world cool. instruments. Yeah, and so, so they started to kind of do that thing again as as well a lot more, where they sort of mix world music in with some uh, more, you know, sort of well-known Western styles, I suppose. Holy shit! We got a pinball, pinball dude, ninety-seven, the creator of the uh, Spyro Mortis of Spyro Mortis Mayhem fan game. I should just use this time to grill him and ask him when the next update video is coming. When's the next update video coming, pinball dude? <laughs> Uh, and he's gone. It's, yeah, goodbye. Uh, no, keep up the good work there. Excellent stuff. Came to watch a stream, maybe fall asleep to it. And uh, this frosty. fucking guy is... I can't keep working private separate anymore. Here we go. Oh, come on. Give me... I want it. Give it to me. <laughs> What's that? It's a quote from... Uh, it's like a, it was a TV show. You know, like a TV show or something. It's like a, like a game show, like a British game Sketch show. show. Yeah, like something like a that. panel show. Yeah, like yeah, like it's like from like you know, like you win a prize, like you're gonna win twenty pounds. It's like one of those late night shows, you know, or something like that. Like oh, oh it's an actual know. game show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not just the panel show where they pretend I it's a game. Know. Yeah, okay. So it, I, uh, I just, I, you know, like um, I, know, I should, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be saying this so publicly. It's just, it's, it's funny because um, the Mortis Mayhem video end up getting like double the views of the Spring Savannah one and so it's like oh my god like if, if we got another update people would go fucking like ape for it but obviously oh you're just treating it as a, like a PR thing now you're I like know, okay I know, I know. you need sounds... to get the you need I to know. get the next update out now now's the moment to strike you know? yeah no it sounds like that it's more no, like that's fine you can have a bit of a, a you can have a bit of business sense about things no, you know if you more, want it's more like a hype like... perspective it's like it's like people but the thing really is hype for this new for this thing yeah but but I think what's even more important is that uh, you don't rush things. Exactly. So, exactly. And like, if they don't, don't think rush ready, updates out of exactly. their... Exactly. Uh, if they don't think they're ready to show new things, then they're absolutely right in not in not showing it, you know? Definitely. Yeah. No, but you're, you're, it's all good to show some interest. Uh, Blowskill saying the music on the You Guessed What version sounds like MIDI files. Yeah. That's, like, the first thing that I noticed about the... Uh, um, <laughs> Andriana says... Uh, can't wait for the Steam Halloween sale hype uh, of the Spyro fan game. Um, what's it called? Uh, actually, does he get stuff greenlit on Steam? I would like. I have no idea actually about any of the Spyro fan games. I haven't looked into that at all. Like, do they like get sort of? Do they go through Steam and shit like that? Like, or is it just? Oh no, it's just. It's all. No, it's not. Is it free? 
Because you can't actually, I think no, no, like, no, you no, can't no one, sell no one's anything. Allowed to sell anything. No one's allowed to sell anything. Yeah, I was anything. gonna say you can't sell it if it's in if it's in a copyrighted IP. Yeah, definitely not. <clears throat> definitely not. So I don't, I guess it can't even go on Steam then, can it? Uh, even though you can give games away for free, I suppose on there, but I don't know if they allow it when it's different. Yeah. Hey, look at this. Look at this live editing. Wow. But the, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I remember, like, trying to look up the soundtrack when I was, because when I used to, you know, record with you, like, I couldn't hear the audio, and then I was kind of, I was looking up the soundtrack for Bugs Life again, to sort of listen along, and then, uh, and it turned out that it was the N64 version, and it, yeah, it just sounds like so yeah, lo-fi and yeah. sleep. Not lo-fi in a good way. Yeah, very midi. Um, they have a new Surface Steam Direct. He's too close. Yeah, me. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm purposely. I bet the game, the game plays over, so you can all, you can all fuck off. But no, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do. <laughs> oh yeah, what soon. time is it now? We're doing a wrap up. Uh, One a.m. Just about. So I'm gonna head to work tomorrow. So it's. Uh, I'm glad my parents didn't tell me off for uh, you know because still live with my parents as, as you as you know. Um, Right, How long have we been going here? We've been recording for two hours and twenty-five minutes. It's a good session, very, very good session. Yeah, Pimble right. Dude says that's where there's other places like Game Jolt to put the band game. Exactly. Yeah, you can't do it obviously through a channel like uh, Steam, but obviously they'll they'll find their way. I'm sure um, you know Mortar's Mayhem will end up good and uh, like in like, in a good in a good spot, easy to download. I'll, I'll well. check out those. Uh, it's mostly a Reddit thing, isn't it? What is the it? Spyro okay. fan game stuff? Kinda, I should, I should. Kinda. Oh, okay, kinda. I should, I should probably uh, apply for some voice acting. Oh, you're too late. You're too late for the uh, Spring Savannah one. They, they, they. Already, uh, I, I like promoted that whole stream. Um, no, not stream. Sorry, yeah, I remember whole, that. Uh, yeah, I that, that was cool. That's all. Yeah. I, I forgot to bloody send in an audition. So I'm an idiot. Like after all that, I promoted and I didn't fucking send one in. <laughs> I think that uh, constitutes, uh, you know, getting uh, getting someone else bumped for you. Yeah, I, I did send in a message saying, "Hey, if you do have something for like your like some kind of wacky Australian accent, then I'm, ha I'm happy to." <laughs> You're just always ready to shill your uh, Australian, uh, like you know, just sell yourself for like a stereotypical uh, stereotypical imagery. You know, of course. I remember you were saying like. Uh, I'll do. I'll just do in uh, in the dinosaur bites games, a game, uh, Clive and Wrench. I'll just do a you know, uh, yeah yeah, good eye mate. And like he was actually, he was actually telling me like, oh my god, you know, like it doesn't have to be something so racist or something. Or, or maybe he commented that. Or something. Racist. Oh like, my god. Yeah, I don't even think myself. it's that bad. You know, there's there's not, it's not really racist. It's hey, just a good eye mate. Dingo, that's their name. <laughs> and crash is my game. That's the thing that I wonder what it would be for, like, like if you would do that with black people or something. Like, do they have a sentence like that? I guess you can sort of be like, mm, mm, mm. Yes, we'll see where this goes. oh no, you didn't. You know, like, that's not considered racist. I, think. I don't think. No, uh, that's not. But yeah, sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. keeping. Yeah. I, I did, I did do that. Doing uh, the outro. I did do some Australian voice acting for MP Carlson. That's right, which later appeared in some of your some of his videos, so you can go find them. I won't give you, I won't, yeah. Oh, will it, will it You can poop his this, uh, stream. This is the greatest comment so far. Uh, the return of the Crystal Vicious Kitchen voice. Now, you're an OG fan, so instant respect from there. Anyone that can quote Willis Crystal Grayman. Vicious Kitchen has my full respect. Thank you, Willis. What are you talking about, Willis? Um, what is that Crystal Fish's Kitchen voice then? I remember watching it a few times, but oh, I guess you were just very Australian. What I just did. It's like, hello yeah. everyone, welcome to another episode of Crystal Fish's Kitchen. It's like really <laughs> I never thought you really put that on. Yeah, it, it, I, it got toned down just... towards the end of the show, but if you look at like the first oh, okay. episode. Um... Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, right. NPCs, Little Big Planet video, exactly. Good stuff. We went from be gender fluid to racism. <laughs> it's not racism. <laughs> uh, um, uh, 
if I, if I was racist, I, I'm, I'm, I'm self-racist against myself because I would be really be criticizing my, myself about my accent. About the fact that you're a racist. Look at this disgusting moustache. Fucking repulsive. Oh no, it's fine. It's, yeah. it's you know, it fits the Italian... Uh, <laughs> I, I, the I Italian... Can't, I can't grow proper beard. It's, it's, it's still patchy. Like, why the fuck is there no hair here? See, this is you First into, world you some real, some real shit. Oh, you mean like between... You mean like higher up on your cheeks or yeah, between the stash? I can't get anything fucking to go like... Just like this. Right? Shit. You're a bit behind on the stream, so I, I never really know where exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 between the stash and the yeah. chin, so to speak. Yeah, well, I have the same thing. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah, you, but you at least have a dark ass me. And that's just pathetic. That if Angus can do better, then get fucked. <laughs> you always uh, bring Angus. Yeah, you know we're going, we're going back to. Uh... Going back to my shirt. I, no, the only the only reason why I'm, I'm doing a beard right now slash moustache is it signals doing um, from when I got my uh, my surgery on my gum. So I'm like doing it until it's like all fully cured. That was like my thought. Like just have it until it's all fixed, and then when it's done, I can like shave it off. It's like a new beginning, I guess, in some weird way. Uh, I don't think it's that bad a look, but it's uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Sh <laughs> As Ellen commented on it. Oh, Ellen, Ellen fucking hates beards. I don't know. Ellen, are you still in the chat? Ah. Ellen, baby, Especially when you... Baby, you're still in the chat, baby. She, she wants a smooth glide when you go down... Uh... <laughs> you're like, can't hide now. Can't, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? You can't, can't like, hide on webcam. You know, when, when you say you're yeah, shit. You have like a... You had uh, an embarrassed expression or something. <laughs> I'll just wait for it to come up. In like oh that's what she said. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, there it was. <laughs> All you gotta do is grow. Oh, Ellen's still here. All you gotta do is grow the hair long enough to cover the bald spots. Profit, yeah. Just grow it down here and just go. Oh uh, yeah, get get a uh, get an emo uh, fringe. Mew Mew Mew's just the right. Mew, Mew, Mew. Just in time. It's the end of the stream. It's the bloody, it's the post. You know, I like this idea, right? You know, after you play the game, we just talk here for a bit. It's just me. You know, you're probably going to get less viewers because who gives a fuck about just me? You know, you got to play for the game. <laughs> but I think it's I can great. see you stretching your mouth out and shit like that. Come on, that's uh, prime content. Right it's premium content, right? Next time, I'll make sure I've got a webcam, got to point it at my crotch, you know, do a post, uh, post stream uh, jack off. Uh, <laughs> it's like uh, it's like pal talk, which they had with uh, Opie and Anthony. They constantly have, like, they'd always have cams in studios, but they'd constantly have this cam chat room open with fans. But like half of them were nude the whole time, or like jacking off to. Well, I mean. Like, all the girls pretty much would, like, go on there and, like, be, like, sat naked or, like, sometimes co couples would be fucking on there. And, like, then the other, the rest was just guys jacking off to it. And they'd always be, like, randomly, like, Anthony was always banning and kicking out random Eastern European guys that just came into the chat rooms, even when nothing was going on, and just randomly was, was jacking off. <laughs> Uh, so I'm I'm sure that that this is gonna end the same way uh, with us. Uh, <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> no. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Uh, Andriano says we sh we uh, have to go because he needs to eat. Like Apparently everyone, he can't. It's like everyone. He's glued to the you screen. You want to end this now because I, uh, Andriano <laughs> needs to eat. I sent or, in the SWAT team are we again. Just gonna, uh, are we are we, just, are we gonna are we gonna just keep going and make this guy go hungry? <laughs> but then like in the process. Like, uh, like we still go, like we have to take shifts when, you know, one has to sleep and everything and like one has to keep eating because it, like in the process of a week, we just starve in. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds fair enough. I think, uh, I think we literally, I think a lot of for 43 minutes. That is dedication, sir. You don't even want to miss anything. Bloody uh, MP Carlson one day, mate, you, you're going to come on the show. All right. You're going to come on the Christopher show. You have to. Yeah. We have to. We gotta. We gotta speak. We gotta speak. 
don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll be patient. You can you can come on the show in exchange for uh, making a short YouTube poop of our uh, voices. <laughs> I'm sure around. he's got. I'm, you know, I, I do know that. Um, I, it takes a lot of time to make that sort of shit. Though. I do. I do know that. Uh, I do know that uh, MP Carlson and I have planned. Like he's planned on doing some kind of thing with my videos. I'm not too sure what yet. Right. Uh, some kind of compilation or something like that. But uh, yeah, it should be. It should be good. I, I actually can. Yeah. I, anyway, we'll, we'll keep it at that. We'll keep it at that. For Sounds now. good. And Death Ride right Guy has, has waited to piss for an extra minute, so that's impressive. I'm going to let you guys piss, okay? We're going to just tandem yeah. piss. Yeah, for, for, for all the newcomers, uh, I think this will we'll just have this up as a VOD, right? Of course, it's VODing it up like crazy, don't worry. So, uh, yeah, you, now you have to stay up for two more hours and then, uh, <laughs> then you can actually watch it. But, uh, oh, do you have music on? Oh, I'm just got the game music Okay. Oh, yeah. That's always nice as well. But uh, okay. So I yeah. Join, join, come join in again. I was gonna say join us again next time, but that's like m me assuming that I'll be on next time. So. Um, well, I think you will. But, I yeah. think with Angus, with Angus, that's the plan. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's even better. It's gonna be good, lads. It's gonna be very good. I'm Party's sorry. always sorry better than my face looks quite big now. Um, guys. All right, guys and girls, and girls of course. Let let your bladder go. All right, you don't have to. You don't even have to make it to the toilet as long as you stand up and then leave. That's fine. That's all we need. <laughs> as long as you stand up and leave, we're happy. That's so what we tell our people. You can stand up. You can stand up. Leave. Piss. And essentially, you've done the same thing because you've made the effort. You just your body just let out, so you don't have to feel ashamed about that. You know, so it, that, that's the way I look at it, okay? Actually, you can feel happy with yourself because you just... Because you're content. You're content. All right, yeah, so guys, this, this is what streaming has become now. It's just me making weird faces. It's Johnny talking. We've got, we've got all the people. Right, before we go, I'm going to thank uh, everyone for staying along. And, you know, we're at the, even at the lowest viewership now, which is like 37, that's incredible. That's a fantastic uh, amount of viewers to watch this live. Um... And it's fantastic. It makes it makes me, it makes me feel like what we're doing is uh, quite you know quite important. You know, like uh, I, feel, I, feel, I do feel that the streams are, are a great way to interact with everyone in a more considerable basis than just replying to a comment and then just leaving, going about my day. It's like, yep, that was that was cool. It was a good chat, but that's it. But now that we're live, we can talk, and it's it. It's awesome. I love, yes, Guy Artisan listen to this whilst drawing. I like that idea as well. Sort yeah, exactly. Of, uh, this is almost, yeah, yeah, for the people that, you know, sort of got the podcasty sort of nature, yeah, okay, obviously there's a gameplay too, of course, which is which is great, but it's, yeah, it's not compulsory, you know, you can listen to it. Heck, you, heck, you don't, you, if you don't want to listen heck. to it, you think we're annoying fucking little shitheads, you can just mute it and watch the gameplay. So, <laughs> just watch the, yeah, fuck yeah, it, it's got everything. So, I mean, it, hey. Uh, I, I just can imagine someone with this on mute, not even have the music to sort of comfort them, just watching that <laughs> playthrough of the uh, canyon. That oh, must okay. have been an amazing experience, yeah. the riverbed canyon. Yeah, yeah, very lucky. Very lucky to have that. Right, let's, let's go even bigger. Let's go even bigger. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> on the stash. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you were saying you didn't know who Sky Artisan was, but it's Ellen, or I'm what? I'm joking. I was joking. I was... You were joking. Oh, I actually thought you were. Yeah, I was thinking like, who was that again? I'm in it for the long haul. We'll anyway, right yeah. Uh, by I the guess. way, for next time, our intro will have official outro music to sort of, you know, uh, make the out outro a bit smoother, and it'll be the N64 version of the end credits yeah. of Bunk's Life. Sounds perfect. Put a disclaimer. Be... You might offend someone with that gender. Com I think we, I think we might get to catch him off guard. You know, like uh, that. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm I love all people. I think everyone's equal. Just just to let you know, I love I even I love I even love Muslims. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I love no. I actually think there's nothing wrong with religious people. I think there's nothing wrong with atheist, atheist people. I think there's nothing wrong with being gay or or stuff like that. And um, everyone is awesome. Awesome, Johnny. E equal and, and all have the same rights, including the rights to psychological treatment, which is what <laughs> transgender people need. No. 
Okay. Uh, goodbye. Love you. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Let me. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get. This thing I'm sorry. I, I. I didn't hit the cube. I'm, you're trying to get this thing bigger. Oh. Fuck. That's what so you said funny. last night. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. Okay. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. You ended it. <laughs>